Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Threes Mode 4. Today we're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 135. In today's episode, we are continuing on our look at the extreme events, this time taking a look at the Polyphony Digital Cup, which is basically ordinary cars go on a big, massive, long race. Yeah. Anyways, for that we're going to need an ordinary car, and I'm going to buy what potentially might be my next car if it's not a Honda Accord. Uh, we are going to buy a Volvo S60 T5 Sport. Because it's oh, cool. it doesn't come that really mean green colour. I kind of like the scarab green. That's quite a good colour. I want that like it looks like peas and vomit mixed together. That colour. <laughs> oh, the like the metallic like the metallic colour we had in the Alpha. Yeah. 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 I know I which one you mean. Like that. all um all the two liter turbos come in that, but I don't want two liter turbo. I want turbo five. Anyways. Well, of course. Um, Inferno said this should work, so... And if he said it, then trust him. Anyway, do explain to the audience why you like the S60 T5 Sport so much. Because it's a Volvo. Not because yeah. it's a Volvo, what else is it? Yeah, but... Oh, it's S60 a 5-cylinder? But a 60 D5 is also... It's a Ford Focus RS, isn't it? Uh, no, this one isn't the Ford Focus RS. Oh, that's boring. The Volvo, yeah, yeah. right? Let me explain Volvos to you because Volvos are extremely interesting, as you can probably tell. I'm gonna buy. I mean, a, 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 a 60 D5 is the best Volvo. Uh, right. So let me explain Volvos to you. The S60 is a bit weird because when the S60 originally came out, it was offered with this engine, which is a 2.3 turbo five-cylinder. And then they got rid of it for a 2.5 turbo 5, which made 210 horsepower, which is 40 less than what this makes. But then they introduced the Volvo S60R, which came, comes with all-wheel drive, and I think that's the 2.5 5 cylinder still with 300 horsepower. Um, and then eventually, yes, uh, then eventually when they facelifted it, they did a 2.5. 4 litre turbo with 260 brake horsepower. Okay. And that's your crash course in the Volvo S60. The 2.5 litre turbo 5 is what would go in the Focus ST. Oh. And the okay. Volvo S40 T5 is based on the Ford Focus platform, so it is a Ford Focus ST. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. But so for it's some. Better be the Focus ST? It's a Ford Focus well, for that. Technically, if you want the best Focus ST, the Mazda Speed 3 is a Ford Focus with more power, but it doesn't make the same lovely five-cylinder burbly noise. That, and it's hmm. not a Volvo. Exactly. Anyways, Polyphony Digital Corp. No more sports tyres required, hence why I bought Sports Hard. 200 grand. We are going to be heading to Twin Ring, Motegi, Seattle, Infineon Circuit, Tokyo, R246, Fuji, Driving Park, Motorland, Circuit de la Sarf, El Capitan, and Suzuka Circuit, and finally at the Nürburgring. And we'll be doing that as soon as I purchase a differential, because I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, nice. That's well done, Emil. kind of a key thing, because this is front wheel drive, unlike the R, which would be four wheel drive. Yeah, one day you will forget to put your plan to go to work. Anyways, one way differential. Holy shit, this thing's making 374 horsepower now. Yeah, definitely. Oh shit! Well, I oil oh. changed it. I want, it was making 350 before, but now it's making 374 through the front wheels, which is slightly terrifying, but. It'll be Volvo. fine. It'll be fine. Anyways, um. I think there's a couple of cars I have to worry about if they come up as opponents, but other than that, I think we should be fine. I think Inferno said he pissed through this with, like, Stage 2 Turbo, and that was it. Okay, um, we weren't exactly losing, because we had some quite funny opponents. However, the Volvo's a little bit odd to drive, because I kind of forgot some major things front-wheel drive cars sort of need, like suspension and better brakes. Oh. Because I'm an idiot. So, you said it, not us. So we're gonna get some semi-racing suspension. We're gonna stick the racing brake kit in. I mean, he's an idiot. Yeah, I said it. You say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's a humbling thing to admit. Uh, and we're gonna buy a bottle of wind juice, not because we particularly needed it, just in case. Just yeah, just in case something else. 
Just in case, you know, you're a useless driver, like, I don't know, me. Oh, you're not useless. Oh, I'm terrible at driving cars in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it says races with the, for the hardcore with prizes to match, but, like, realistically, we haven't really got that much in the way of decent prize cars this far. So let's see, can I... Can I find a freaking chip on the... What's the opponents this yeah, time around? Yeah, I'm Oh, the 206 is back. <gasps> Unfortunately, no jazz this time, like we had last time around. I don't care, the 206 is the real joke. I actually think this grid is easier, though, because the fair lady is not here. Yeah. Standard <laughs> gearbox you. should be alright. It's a Volvo, it'll be geared high. Yeah, Audi S3 is the biggest threat in this lineup. Oh, but there's more respect points, which is weird. You know what I'm going to say, no diesel? Oh no, but Ludo. What? My diesel. You're supposed to be like the diesel man now. Totally going to get a uh, new mini. Yeah. You do that, you're disowned. No, I'm, I'm actually joking. You know, going to do it. So. Yeah, someone in HG's already got one, so you can't get one as well. Yeah, that's the law. Meanwhile, so, you both own Renos. Actually, are they a friend of the channel? I know I'm not a friend of the channel, so I'm okay with it. Oh god, no, they're not a friend of the channel. Oh good, get a mini then. They're pretty far away from a friend of the channel last time, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean... We it, don't really okay? bother with each other, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, uh, I'm going to be honest, I, from what I know, he's, he's, he's not friend of a lot of people. Yeah, it's almost like only fun to like. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's only fun of the... the it's almost like <laughs> there's like two uh, people that I like in compared to any that don't. I know he really doesn't like Rhino. Really yeah, doesn't like Rhino. Like yeah, and Rhino doesn't like him at all. Yeah, I can't blame him. I mean, I can't really stand the guy either, and uh, from what I know, he's, he's a bit of a cunt on the part that people don't see on the channel too, sometimes, so... Yeah. Well, the thing is, he's like... Um, what was it? It's just like... Fun. It's like every time I bring it up, he's just like... Yeah, but he's he is like that. He is a bit like weird like that. I was just like, well, why do you keep him around then? <laughs> well, I've known him five years. It's like, yeah, I've known people for fucking seven years before. I disown them when I fucking can. <laughs> <coughs> like, you don't. It's the internet. You can get rid of people. I could ban Azza tomorrow, and we'd never hear from him again, and we'd be okay. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I mean. I'm not saying I'm going to. I'm just saying, like, I could. I, I mean, I mean, there is one guy that left here, and uh, in this channel, we never are for him anymore. So let's not bring that up. Which yeah. one? No. <laughs> yeah, there was multiple ones. Which one did in? Oh, 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 that one. Yeah. Yeah, but that's fine. He's too busy making replica Civic Type Rs. It's fine. <laughs> Wait. Well, no, nah, yeah. I, I think last time I spoke to him, we're fine. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Again, I, I, I oh, said it before, oh boy. I said it before, this is the internet, none of this affects my actual life, I don't really care. Oh boy, guys, What? 3,000 3, euro, Renovel Satis Turbo, 2 litre. To be fair, that sounds like your sort of car. No, <laughs> no, but, <laughs> I'm a bit on die, but yeah. So, I'm starting to... I, I've actually figured out today, or yesterday, I was just like sort of searching, I, I, I literally these days just put in on Auto Trader or like eBay or something, just like, saloon 2 litre petrol, right? Because that's sort yeah. of my parameters for what I want. Yeah. And I've sort of figured out, I've kind of got two dream cars at the moment. Mm -hmm. Like actually so attainable dream cars. I kind of either want a Volvo S60R, Oh, cool. Because, f no, no, this is actual dream. Like, the Accord's great, but it's not, like, an actual, like, full-on, like, I aspire to get this. This is, like, the ultimate goal, basically. A Peugeot 206. 
Well, I figured this out. Volvo S60R, I like it a lot. I think I kind of want to give myself some time on that one, though. Because I want to feel like I properly earned that one. But there's also another car which I'm sort of... I used to really like as a kid, forgot about as an adult, and now it's sort of come back to me and I kind of want one. Which is? A Lexus Wait. GS450H. Here it goes. You want to fucking hybrid? Yeah, right. Hear me out. Alright, it's where it comes in, okay? The Lexus GS is a great looking car. Yes. They're actually pretty small. Like, they're not that much bigger than a cord. Um, but, Ludo, as a. Let's use you two, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna give up a checklist, right? Okay. Yes. For the hybrid, okay. Would you rather pay five hundred and forty pounds a year on tax, or two hundred and eighty pounds a year on tax? Ah, two hundred eighty. Would you rather go to zero to sixty in seven point five seconds, or five point seven seconds? Five point seven. Five point seven. Would you rather have seventeen miles per gallon in town, or? 30, supposedly. 30? 30. 30. Exactly. And legit. To be fair, they're just so nice inside as well. Like, it's a Lexus, it'll run forever as well. I do like the GS as well. What did I see the other day? Like, oh, I. <laughs> pulling into a, a McDonald's drive thru, I saw an ISF. <gasps> but it wasn't just any ISF. Yeah. It was the ISF I sat in about two weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> you sat in one? Yeah, I sat in an ISF. It was... The Alpha needed a cam belt change or something. So we went in and there was an ISF in the showroom. I was just like, hey, I kind of want an IS250, so... Why don't I have a look at an ISF? So... I, I found the CRX. Oh, actually, as a... Yeah? In uh, close-ish proximity to here, like Nottingham Way, mm -hmm. there is a IS250 for sale, which I quite like. It's an IS250 with a manual as well, which is strange, because a lot of those are auto. That's quite appealing. Yeah, it's what? grey on black, I think. I like the Lexus before they lost their fucking shit with the hourglass <sighs> wheel. Oh yeah, the you fucking guys, angles, 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 angles. Yeah. Guys, explain me, explain me one thing. Why am I looking at fucking CRX? Because you're a Honda so, fuckboy like I am. Yeah. <laughs> be, because for six thousand euros, I, I can get the one twenty five HP CRX, one point six liter petrol. For Is six thousand euros. Yeah. You could buy like a Civic Hybrid for that. Come over to England, you can buy a lot of work in IS200. Fuck, fuck you, I don't want a Twingo! <laughs> I don't want a... I don't want you to want a Twingo! What's wrong with the Twingo? The Twingo is fun! No, it's shit. It's better than a Gan. No. It is, it looks funny. No. Twingo can never break down, they're too Luda, happy. you can put angry headlights on it. No, the <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Neil. I'm starting to mind. get the feeling that, like, the Renault Twingo <laughs> is France's Dodge Neon. Yeah. yeah, like no, you can put yeah. you can put no, 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 like people put does, angry headlights on them all the time, but they're just really like run down with shit boxes. Yeah, yeah no, they, people, they, no, they, no, they, no, don't, no. they don't get on fire. Or they don't break down easily. No, listen. it's a Renault. Of course, it breaks down. That's what Renaults no. do. No, 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 no. It's it's ah. from it's from a time when Renault didn't break down. The Twingo's too happy and never break down inside. <laughs> I was watching that fucking Top Gear review of the Clio 182 the other day where he sat there like, look at all the exposed screws. <laughs> yeah, that's a real thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's basically fucking hell. We need to make that cheaper to sell it. What do we do? Also, I'm fucked <laughs> off. <laughs> what did you My do? Accord search, right? There is more fucking bastard fucking cunting fucking Renault Clio 182s than there are fucking Honda Accords for sale on there here. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's because people want to sell their 182s because they're shit. There's more BMW 3 Series than there are Accords. Because There's more cheap Type R Civics than there are Accords. Like to hell. 
It's because no one sells the occult. That's the issue. Everyone like who buys one is like exactly. sixty-five years old and will die in it. A, 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 the occult is a good pawn, and it never needs to be sold. Exactly. Should, should they should they get Fort Cougar? Yes, absolutely. A what? A Fort Cougar. Because you can Cougar. say I ride a Cougar. So no, 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 no. Hey, no, UGA, can no, you say no, yeah? No, 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 no. Get yeah, a Cougar. Not Cougar. No, no, no the no. Cougar, do you remember like the Mercury Cougar, the one from the 90s that was like a Mondeo? Yeah. Is it a V6? Uh, I'm assuming. Because if, yes, you know, it's a, if it's a Juratec V6, then it's pretty good engine. It's, it's a 2.5 V6. Yeah, that's a good car actually. Yeah, Although, just remember Ow. 90s Ford, um, Rust, 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 Rust. Rust, 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 Rust. Rust. Blast. <laughs> <laughs> that was we are fucking Holy in sync, shit. mate. I swear. I, I, I've been around. I, I, I hope you like I'm, I'm, the rear arches. 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 I'm, arches. I mean, I mean, at, least, <laughs> at least, good point. Is there is no visible rust. And like some car. Visible. Ludo, That's do you thing. know what I, car I think you should get? Because I think it suits you down to an absolute T. Uh, you're it, lucky it, to live it, it, It's zany. It's weird. It's Vainy. a bit camp. Ooh. Ludo. <laughs> Go on, tr tr I, I have I have taken everything about you into consideration. I have decided the best car for you, the car you should buy right now, is a Ford Street car. <laughs> because here's the thing, I think a sport car is a bit too manly for you. So like a street car, you get top open fun. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows Ludo likes the topless. The worst bit is the sport car is actually quite quick from what I remember. It's like 120 brake horsepower and because a Ford KA is made of, well, rust and paper tissues, it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Ford car. Why the fuck does that but exist? I still love the person who designed the... I, can't I think it was like the original Mustang designed the car. Oh what? no, the guy who designed the GT90 designed the car. That was it. Wait, what? Yeah, that's, that's a what? hell of a downgrade. That's a fucking downgrade. Holy and shit. And I think the, the idea of the thing behind the Ford car is the designers... I can't remember. Well, did he design that or did he design something? It, he like designed shot. some like 70s supercars, a couple of muscle cars, and then I think he also did the GT90 and then he did the Ford car. And do you know what the design profile of the Ford car is? What? What? He wanted to make, quote, the anti-Twingo. <laughs> where, like, the Twingo is, like, all happy and all the rest of it. And the Ford car is angles. Angles, 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 angles. Oh, 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 I found the thing. Mm -hmm. But you're peeing. Yeah. I, I want. A what? Pajero pin it. But, yeah. The only issue yeah. with those is it's a Mitsubishi built by Italians. Yeah, but now, to be fair, I'm like sure the Italians up, probably do a better job at screwing it together than Mitsubishi, <laughs> but it's something to consider. The pinning's pretty I mean, cool, though. You can go off-road in a pinning as well. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's an actual forward drive. Yeah. But small. Yeah, the only problem is, could you deal with it on the motorway? What? Well, it's tall and not very wide. I mean, it's probably going to end up falling over. No one gives a shit. I could just imagine that. Hey, look at me, I picked up my new pin in the next day. Got some bad news, guys. Finally got my new car, and then all of a sudden it fell over. <laughs> there, there, there was a gust of wind. I decided to mount a roundabout, and in the process, the car Yeah, there was a over. gust of wind, and it just blew it over. What's that horrible <laughs> roundabout in Paris called? The Arc de Triomphe. Is that it? I think so, yeah. But that one where, like, no rubbish. insurance company in the world will cover you to drive on it. No. Because it's that horrific. No, but... I think I it's like a five-lane roundabout or something. Yeah, 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 I think I know the... the uh, it well, I think. And when you combine that to one key issue... What? The French cannot drive. Yeah, I mean, no, It's can't. not just you, like, literally, genuinely, I've been to France, everyone can't drive. No one in France <laughs> can drive a car. Hey, Emil, you wanna you wanna know something even worse? Go on. The, 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 the Germans are worse because they can't drive and they go faster. Yeah, the <laughs> so Germans are like, 
I I'm so good at the driving. I drive all the time. Fast, fast. Yes. Cut you off. My please. my Opel Astra is tank. <laughs> In World I War Two, this would be Panzer. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, since I Alonso takes the third Reich. Yes, darling. Sometimes when sometimes when I see them driving, I'm like, oh, the fuck did they not die already? <laughs> I, I want to like, have a lot of people. Like, like, like you fucking see people passing like f five cars. Oh no, the two hundred six came last. Oh, oh. poor two hundred six CC. I'm gonna have to make it faster than a CRX just to annoy Ludo now. It's funny you brought up CRX because there's a two hundred six in this race. So here's the deciding factor: if the CRX ever loses to the two hundred six, you can never own a CRX. The <laughs> No, I, I'm not. That sounds like a deal to me. But if it wins, so then you can say a, a CRX is better than a 206, which is kind of true. But so, so as as I was saying, at at some point when I was driving, I actually saw people pass like five five other people without visibility to know if they could actually you know get back on the lane because like there was a turn or something, but they went fast. Nice. And almost and, and almost hit someone in front, and I'm like. Yep. <laughs> to be fair, everyone was bullying a bus today, that was quite fun. Oh boy. A bus kept oh, trying oh. to get out and everyone just drove past it. Yay. Because bus drivers are wankers. This is true. So be wankers to bus drivers every time you see them, because they're going to be wankers to you something. I just realised LRC is in this race as well. Hi LRC. Is the 159 a good, a good uh, alpha? The 159 is a very good alpha. Yeah. It also appears to be surprisingly reliable because there's a lot of them with big miles on Auto Trader. 6k euro. The problem is, I kind of like the alphas, but there's only one person in the country you should buy them from, so. Are we? Nice. There's like this guy on Auto Trader, he's obsessed with them. I think his dealership's called Absolute Alpha or something. Oh. And he literally goes through the cars and replaces everything before you buy them. So he replace the water pumps, cam belts, all the rest of it. Oh hey, I, Does I, literally I everything to them and then sells them. I, I They've got a 146 for sale, I kind of want it, but it hasn't got leather. Uh, I got the best car. Mm. Versus again, Polo, 4th gen, 1 meter. Oh god, no, not HP. the 4th gen Polo. The 4th pol gen Polo is a piece gen, of shit. 1st gen. Oh, I had a 3rd gen. Don't. Yes. No. Number one. I R S T. Yeah. It's not my fault you can't say numbers correctly. Yeah, I mean in French. Yeah, say them in French. I don't actually understand what you're saying. One liter. Set seat deuce east, right? What? Un dos tres cuatro cinco seis set read. That's not French. What is it? Yeah, it is. That, that's, that's, uh, I like how I was saying to a Frenchman, that's not French. <laughs> but you're you first, 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 first gen polo. Deuce. Oh god, I, I actually found a worse Megan than mine. Is that like possible? Far? Yeah, they made one that only had 98 HP. Oh. Oh, probably still more reliable, right? 98? 1.4 liter petrol, 98 HP. So oh no, no that's probably no better because it's petrol. No, petrol's better than diesel. Yeah, but no. It just no, actually, no. Oh, diesel actually, do you know what I found on Auto Trader? I can't want one. What? Volvo S80. Oh. If you don't know what that was, basically when they tried to go after the E Class because Volvo. Um. And what they did is basically. They decided to spend no money whatsoever on making it sporty in any way, shape, or form. It comes standard with leather seats and like climate control and everything. There's like a couple of options for nav and stuff, but that's like it. It's just supposed to be a big, comfy fucking cruiser, and I love it. It also looks fantastic. Nice. I mean, it's a Volvo. Yeah, but the, the only problem with the S80, right? Bear in mind, it's the size of an E-Class, yeah. 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 In when they first introduced it, I'm not quite sure what the engines were, but most of them on Auto Trader are like 2.4 five-cylinder diesels or 2.5 five-cylinder petrols, right? 
And they also made them with six cylinders, and you can get a V8. Like a 4.4 litre V8, it's like 300 and something horsepower. I don't know if that one's front wheel drive. I think most of them are front wheel drive. But guess what else the S80 you could get with? So on one of the end of the spectrum, you can buy it with 4.4 litre V8, or on the other side of the spectrum, you can buy it with 1.6 cylinder di uh, 1.64 cylinder diesel, nice. which produced it, it... 99 horsepower, I think, oh, in a car that's... which is the oh, size oh. of an E-Class. I think it's 14 seconds zero to 60 or something. That's scary. It's that's scary. apparently the most painfully slow car in the world. Also. Uh, does someone want to move Midgey Given? So, no, I don't. Uh, uh, tw Twingo 3 RS? Twingo 3. I thought RS. Was... What the fuck is the Twingo 3? Uh, no, is wait, that the rear engine no, one? No, Clio. F yeah, Twingo 3 oh, RS. Oh, clear. I was going to say, Twingo's. No, Twingo, Twingo's Twingo. only had three generations, haven't they? It had one. No, four, four, four. They have four. The, but the new one is actually a smart 4 4. Yeah, but it's still a generation of Twingo. Yeah, so, so... Wait, what What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I'm there's the first gen and then there's the second gen from 2008, or is the first gen, was that actually technically two generations? Uh, no, the first the first gen is actually pretty... The first gen's it's, 92 to like 2008, isn't it? Five, I think it's like, it's like 2005. And then there was the second know. gen, and then the third gen's the Smart 4-4 thing, right? Uh, the, uh, let, let me check Wikipedia, but yeah, the, the first gen thing actually lasted long because there was like four, four versions. Mm. And the second gen uh, was like... Oh! Uh, I, 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 okay, maybe because of th that, that they sold it somewhere else, but in 1993, mm. up to 2012 for the single one. Oh, Jesus. They, they sold it up until 2012 in some countries, and the f second gen 2007, yeah, up to 2014. I like the second gen. The only problem I have with the second gen is it looked really good and then in like 2011 they decided to do a facelift which completely ruined it. They like gave it some weird fog lights and also split the rear tail light design from like one oh. single light to like 15 different lights. Oh, wait, no, it actually has only, f only three. Yeah. Actually. I think that's four. Nope. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's that's the, the Twingo 3 that's actually uh, smart. Yes. But yeah, Twingo's cool. I like the second gen Twingo. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't want one of those. Awesome. They're quite cheap. I don't like Renault, I'm sorry. You don't like the Twingo RS or whatever it was called? Twingo... I don't, honestly. I, don't... I actually, I, I'm, I've got something painful to admit here. What? I kind of wanted Twingo as a first car. Yeah, fair enough. Second gen. I mean, I mean, it's a cool first car. can't argue with that. The problem is, if I was doing it nowadays, then yeah, I could do it. The problem is, back then they were a little bit too expensive. So yeah, look at that beautiful uh, interior just I still want that fucking thing I found on eBay the other day, that fucking Volkswagen Lupo 3L. So we lost people, so... No, we lost... Speed. thingy again. Yeah. I don't know what's so up yeah. with him. Every time he joins, he has to like, rejoin about 15 times. I'm not quite sure what the issue is. <laughs> but yeah, Emil, when you can just look at the beautiful entire picture I posted... That, that's... Um, that's actually... Uh, I need a new pair of glasses. It's a real uh, American! Hello, hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Stroman. <laughs> I'm driving a Volvo. Yeah. I wish yeah. Respect hey, a... Liberians. Do, do, do you see no. the, the incredible uh, design of the Twingo 3 RS interior? Do you see why I may not want it? Listen, Twingo's... Yeah. Like, why... why did they do that? Oh, Dash? you know what else is a pretty okay Renault? What? Hmm? The Renault Laguna Coupe. Yeah. Which one is the link, ma'am? The oh, the link's in funk somewhere. Yeah. I should probably re post it in recording. Oh, room. Nissan Micra. Mm -hmm. Nissan Micra. I could see you as a micro person. Oh, I found it. Oh boy, Toyota IQ. 
I still kind of like the IQ. It's stupid. I mean, I mean, I mean, oh boy, I mean, you know why I will never touch it? It has still is. I'm sorry, it has still is now. I, I want actual wheels now. Volvo Wait. S60. Wait, what the fuck? What? Wait, I need to check the pictures. But... There's fucking seas on the front. Actual, actual, actual alloy wheels on the rear. I like how the game gives this a speed of 240 miles an hour. I think that's a bit optimistic. Yeah. How about Citroen Saxo? Citroen Saxo Hyundai gets. Oh god, I want gets. I remember when a car dealer tried to sell me a gets. Yeah, back. I was like, I've just run oh. on this for two decades. I was just like, I don't care. I don't want it. Oh uh, boy, Peugeot 4. I've owned Hyundai for two decades. What a sad existence. Peugeot 4 7 coupe? Yeah, that. Oh, the 4 7 coupe's a weird thing. Yeah, the f it's, it's, the f it's fat. It's not a bad looking car, though. Yeah, but it's fat. The 4 7 is not a bad looking car. The problem with the 407 is it's got the same issue all French saloon cars at that time had. What? They've got way, way too many buttons for some reason. Like, have you seen... I can't remember which one it is. I think it's the Citroen... I mean, I mean, I, I have, I, I see the dash of the 407 and I can, I can agree. It's like the newer Citroen C5. The fucking... The amount of buttons on the steering wheel is insane. There's like 15 buttons. It's like, I mean, there's Mazda's a lot of like, gone. No. There's, a lo there's a lot of Ford GT steering wheel. No. <laughs> it's like the, oh, the new Ford GT, I know which one you mean. Yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah, but they just did the same steering wheel design Ferrari had though, didn't they? Where they just oh, stick all the indicators and shit on the front Su end. Suzuki Jimmy. Jimny? Oh boy, Jimny. Still like the Jimny. It's only 82 HP though. Yeah, but it's not that much car to move. Yeah. I mean, realistically, there's 82 at the crank. With the four wheel drive, you're probably getting like 60 to the wheels, but. Because the thing you've got. To... The thing I realised today is I had to drive my car on a big old motorway journey. Four wheel drive saps a lot of power. Really? Yeah. I had to turn my air conditioning off for, to overtake people. Wait, what? Yeah, I had to do a motorway journey. And uh, I don't think you have much power, much for power to begin with, to be honest. Well, it's 105 at the crank. Let's say it's making 97 now. Realistically, 75 to all four wheels, considering it's full-time four-wheel drive. So With the aircon on, I'd be surprised if 30 brake horsepower per the two axles. Let, let, and it weighs many. Yeah. yeah, it weighs more than your Firebird does. Well, about the same as your Firebird does as well. But, have no fear no longer, I'm going to get a new car soon. So... And now it's a race against time, because I'm fairly certain the clutch is about to explode. What the... F what the fuck, there is only 10 four, six on sale? Yeah, a lot of them exploded. I'm gonna get some new glasses, fuck these. I'll oh, I didn't realise you had... Oh yeah, you do have glasses, I saw a new ginger yeah. picture. I'm not fucking ginger! You are ginger. I'm fucking not! I'm gonna... I'm, one day I'm gonna display the picture for all the class to rule whether you are ginger or not. Oh. There, One day I'm gonna find. I'm gonna go to you. I'm gonna show my non-ginger fucking head. And I'm gonna smack you oh. in the face with it, you little prick. Do you know what I'm oh. gonna do? You should. You should show what? me. It. I hope you appreciate the fact that when I get a new car, I'm probably gonna road trip and see yours at some point, just so you can oh prove boy, whether oh you boy. will do yeah, that yeah. or not. Uh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell if that's like the fucking. That's either a can or like the pullback action on a fucking 1911. <laughs> <laughs> just like, let's go, Captain bitch! My god. I, I, I just found something beautiful. 406 scoop. Red 406 scoop. Nice. Do you know what the 406 was famous something. for? What? Exploding? Uh, yeah, I remember they had that issue where they kept catching fire. Oh. That's not a good issue. They had to, to like recall them. I think it was all the diesel ones. They like caught fire at the front end of something. Oh, is that? 
Oh, I thought it'd be the one where you. I thought it'd be the one where you uh, turn the heater on and put it up all the way. No, no, that's <laughs> a Clark's an exclusive. But the two of six still lost to the CRX, but there's still plenty of races to go. Also, yeah. the Integra beat an Audi S3 around Seattle, which is a four-wheel drive circuit. So th there is actually only three thousand four six hundred say in France. No, I kind of. I still kind of like the Mark V GTI Golf, but I think it's too boring. I don't know. Hey, Scotian. Mm. Honda Integra, Audi S3, Mazda, R Mazda RX-7, Honda CRX, Peugeot 206cc, and a Volvo S60. What do all those cars have in common? Shit. I'll give you a hint. They've all got four wheels. No, no. They were all clearly honed and tuned specifically for the Infineon road course. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that. This is... Do you know what I just realised this race event kind of is? What? Isn't this just like a rerun of like Gran Turismo All Stars and something else, just sort of combined into one? But now you're in road cars and not race cars. Gran Turismo Small Stars. Gran Turismo Small Stars. So they Shit, they I made. I should have got like a Suzuki Cappuccino for this. <laughs> so they they made an RCZ R with twenty two hundred and seventy HP. Yeah, I'm sorry, I one... heard that as you saying they made a Nazi ZR. Yeah. Yeah, but there's one slight issue with that. It's a Nazi ZR, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's so hideous. Yeah. But it's but the most hideous the... Peugeot to be ever launched. I'm yeah, telling you that now. Imagine they they mm. they actually they actually threw two seven two hundred and seventy HP in it. Why I don't understand? Oh my God, Integra, no! No! Fuck wheel drive! You betrayed us. Go. I will save you from the magical silver Audi of doom. No, oh, Integra! <laughs> no! Under Understeered into failure. There is so yeah, many Integra is supposed to be say... like one of the best handling front wheel drive cars in the world. Yeah! So, th there is one red and three iron for saving friends. Mm. One red and three iron for saving friends. Nice. So, I, I figured out an issue with Top Gear Labs here today. What? Mm -hmm. Profiling for the next episode. Mm-hmm. Um, 50% of the episode was Ferraris. Oh. I've now narrowed it down to 43%. Because apparently oh. every single retro supercar I've already done. Because I was an idiot and did that Legends of Speed episode that had like literally every single night a supercar that wasn't a Ferrari. You're a dumbass. Yes. But don't worry, we've got to get through supercars, and then we're going to go to muscle cars, I think. I'll then you realise you've done all those. I'm going to have to do... No, no, trust me, I've got many of those to do. Nice. To give you an insight, I've currently got four episodes, which are going to be literally entire manufacturers, because they've got so many fucking cars. Third. That aren't nearly interesting enough. I think currently on those is Ferrari, Porsche, Chevrolet, and Ford. Yeah. They have way too many cars, and they're all the same car. Yeah. Like, they have 15,000 Ford Falcons in the game now. But dude, the one was special because it was fast. Yeah, yeah but like, some of the Falcons are cool, but like, other ones is just like... What? Why is this here? Yeah. So, um, I think like the, it's the like green Ford or Falcon. So the one I, that was a unicorn in the Green Ford or? Which one's that one? I, I, oh, do you mean the 72? Uh, yeah. That one's... Um, I have a problem. Here's I the issue with that you. one. Right. I want that. Right, here's the issue with the 72. It doesn't look that much different from the 71 or the 73, which are both in the game. However, you've seen the statistics on the 72. Okay. It produces like, like 450 horsepower or something compared to all the other ones that produce like 300. 
Anyway, that's dude, one of the cars the Australian. That's the car that the Australians got. The Australian media media got terrified over. That's the one where they said they're banning all supercars because, like, it was that and some Holden were like getting way too much power. That thing is beautiful. Yeah. What were you saying, Ludo? Uh, I will want that thing. Oh, I like it. What is it? Tell all the viewers in the channel. What? Tell all the people who are watching this what the fucking car is, you dick. R Renault F Renault 21 Chum. Eh. It looks like it looks like a really shit attempt at an R31 Skyline. It's from it's from 88. Mhm. Mm yeah. One issue with that. What? Classic Renault. Next. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> Ludo, it's gonna explode, and then you're gonna cry, no. and you're not gonna be happy. Nah, nah. It it has a two liter turbo, and it has a bad ABS on the back. It has to be good. It's a turbo your... car from the 1980s. They were universally awful. Is that your nah. next car, Ludo? Just look at the turbo Sorry. fire. Just look at the turbo Trans Am. How well did that pan out? It's it's a, it's a French car. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the turbo transit. Trans the Dude, they say trans that like they want to took off if the yeah, it's, it's it's red too. It has a sunroof. It's it's. Red is not a selling point. <laughs> hey, Emil. Yeah. That turbo tra the 80s turbo transit would have took off if the if people didn't say that was a Buick engine. Yeah, but as if consumers care whether it's a Buick engine or not. Consumers do care. No, do you know what would have made the Firebird the take American off? The American consumers do care. Do you know what would have made the Firebird take off? What? If Chevrolet had just fucking let it go head on with the Corvette. Yeah, but... Like, why yeah, not but... just make the Firebird a nicer... Co like, the whole point of Chevrolet is supposed to be the budget brand, so why not just make the Firebird a nicer Corvette? What's the issue? Because... Because they can't make the Corvette better. Yeah, but they're... Fuck off. <laughs> I can improve the Corvette. Do you know how you improve it? You make it out of something that isn't fucking egg boxes and spunk towels. <laughs> you give it a nice interior. Make it more powerful. Chuck away the LS and install they, they a just... nice, healthy... 10-cylinder. I mean, they ban <laughs> everything that, that beats the Corvette. Have you seen the fucking GNX and the Cyclone? Yeah, but the GNX. Did not last did, long. Here's the difference: the GNX and the Cyclone were shaped like cheeses. Yet they still beat the Corvette. The Cyclone doesn't count because America's yeah, didn't yeah, have but like the Cyclone was four-wheel drive. To be fair, it still was a truck and had the fucking aerodynamics of a brick. I have no excuse for the GNX. Other than I don't know, it's Chick Hicks. Chick Hicks never wins, but sort of, kind of does occasionally. <laughs> they should just literally the way to sell a fucking why not just stick a turbo on the Corvette engine and say there you go Firebird. So like let's be honest, the the Corvette got its ass kicked by the Viper anyway, so what matters? Uh, I mean no, it it killed the Viper. No, no, but the Viper is cooler. Like the Viper was cooler. Yeah, but it, if it didn't get a reputation for killing people, it'd be okay. It would, it would probably solve better. No, it's not, yeah. it's not that. It, it's that it was costing way too much compared to the Corvette. So. I don't think so. They were about the same price. And the thing is, even if it cost more, that's because it was a better car. The issue with the Cor yeah, the yeah, issue yeah, with yeah, the Corvette yeah, but... is it's like oh, name value. These cars were around when I was yeah, a kid. But... I remember yeah. my uncle owning a 1976 Corvette. Yeah. He but molested me in the back of it. People want to raise the cheapest car, and then if it's not a better one... 2019 Chevrolet Covet Z01, yeah! So, you, you see the run I posted? It Someone goes by the ring burner in 10 minutes. <laughs> ring burner? <laughs> ring burner? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so, so, someone actually, actually, got, actually painted one like, like, like the racing ones. Someone actually made Good for them. It can now lap the Heineken ring in 10 minutes. Heineken ring? Heineken ring. <laughs> uh, 
It and, can go and, around like, the Rosetta Stone International Raceway in under two minutes. Oh, and, uh, and, uh, it's a the, real for, American. For the picture that shows up, they, they ask for 7,000 euros. Ludo, no one cares about what people paint on a car. It can go around the hatchback brands. Hatchback <laughs> brands. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll take it to the Lee Man. Lee Man's. It won at the Lee Man. Is, is no, it's Lee Man's. The Americans don't know to sign No, no, it's yet. Lee Man. Oh, no. It can go around the lemon. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Azar, what? I, I found the best version. The race. Someone raced one. Of course they did. Them. Fucking fun. It can go around the Suzuki circuit. <laughs> Here in Road Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those beauty, Azar. You want one? Road America, because it's America no. for the road. <laughs> Mostly you based off the fact it's a Renault product. You, you want the red one? Look at this front. <laughs> Nobody cares. It can go around Cadillac Raceway Laguna Seca in under a minute and a half. <laughs> I love your redneck voice. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> Sounds like Johnny got touched by the cowboy. Dad, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. I want to be a stock car driver. <laughs> I'm gonna go fast and go great, and I turn to the left sometimes. Now I'm gonna go racing Canada. Dad, I want to drive one of those foreign cars. <laughs> I want to drive a Nissan. <laughs> I want to drive a Subaru back out. Hmm. Have you heard about the new car, the Ferrari Fast Super Trait 12? Oh, you want to know something fun about that? I was watching uh, the <laughs> trip. I, 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 I'm I, not kidding. I, I want to drive the Ferrari Quick Fast 812. <laughs> I, was, I, I, was, I was watching a stream and the thing is actually a pain in the ass to drive because it has no force. So basically it's 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 a name it's a V twelve with car around it. <laughs> That's all. So it, it's it's fast and straight and no more. <laughs> so you're never gonna get up on ah, the went to the Dodge Char Enjoy your Dodge enjoy Dodge your Dodge. Eagle Talent. I wanna drive a Laren Mackey F one. Look at that beautiful interior. Anyways, what was up about the what did I just say? What did you just say, Ludo? A minute ago about Angel. Uh, he, he actually drove the A12 in the stream. Yes, it was a, it was basic as he, as I said. He he agrees. It's basically a V12 with a car built around it and no downforce. <laughs> I felt I liked it. I be, because because you you know when uh, in Forza most of the time you had the downforce package it, it reduced the PI. Yeah. There, it actually improved the PI. <laughs> I need to drive it though, because the F12 was a really good car. Yeah. But I never drove but, the TDF, so I have no idea what that's like. So yeah, but yeah, you know when you actually put the downforce package and you see the PI go up, that's... Uh... I haven't even... I haven't even driven the Vuel. Uh, the, the one thing that confuses me about modern GT Ferraris is why do they all look like Corvettes? Good point. Like, genuinely, the A12 Corvette literally looks like a C C7. T12 Corvette? <laughs> it does look like one. It's like how the F12 TDF literally looked like a C7 Corvette because all the press pictures were in yellow. Which was sort of the Z06's colour. So, so I know what I'm going to be. I'm going to be a Renault Master. Okay. I to say you want a big fat fan. Ludo, you should just buy a Peugeot 206 GTI and be happy. Yeah. No. Yeah! I mean, it's better built than a Renault Clio. No! Because it's built in the best place in the world. Where? England! <laughs> no. We know how to build things. Yeah, we built the Peugeot 206. That explains why they were horrifically unreliable. Yeah. Mind oh, you, I say that, we build Japanese cars these days and they seem fine. 
I'm going to be honest, if I, if I ever touch 26 S16. Yeah, the, because well, why would you want an S16? The GTI is like the same but better. No. Yeah. No. Are you not aware that we sort of call the S16 the GTI? Thank you, shit. Like the Peugeot 206 RC is our GTI. We just call it GTI because harder than Peugeot 205 GTI, the best hot hatch. Even though, like, the Peugeot 205 GTI is like. 205 GTI, best hat hatch. The hat hodge. Don't, don't say he's my man. Why? I, I, I don't dislike it. I just... I don't know. So... Like so, someone actually, so someone actually put horrible fucking daylight on the 26 RC. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, they do that. That's called 206 wait, drivers. Wait, wait, does it does it actually has four for exhaust stock? Because this no. Is no. I'm looking at that has actually four exhaust. I think it has like one because the power can be contained quite easily because it's. If I remember, it's basically <laughs> like your fucking shitty Renault Clio 182, where it's basically just a small car with a stupidly big engine. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they, they put a 180 HP engine to get to Google. Same the issue the Fiesta ST has. It, it also, can I just remark how many of those there are for sale? Because holy shit, I didn't realise they produced that many of them things. Wait, what Fiesta ST? Yeah, like the two litre old Fiesta ST, there's thousands of the fuckers. Let me check on much. I don't we... understand why, because it's not like they were particularly great. Wait, they made 90? Okay, so... Fiesta ST... Fiesta ST... 180, 120, 125? That's not an ST. Yeah, 1.25 yeah. is not an ST. They come like 2 liters. Oh, uh, I, I see as why. As a wanted one, uh, because he's a bit of a fuckboy at heart. I, I see, I see I why they say. I mean, uh, I see why they say ST. You wanna know what they did? Sound true town? They, they, no, they, they did the Beamer way. Oh, let's let's make an ST park. Oh, the <laughs> ST line, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. It's like those Mercedes where they just install bone crunching suspension and say it's an AMG line. I mean, I can't say much. Volvo do literally exactly the same thing. I, I have a C180, with the, but it's an AMG. With, with the Volvo R design. However, the difference between Volvo and like AMG is R mm. didn't mean anything until like years later. Like, there was the S60R, and I think that was like the final, that was like the only car that ever got the R badge. No, the eight fifty. There was the eight fifty. Oh yeah, the eight fifty R. <laughs> yeah, eight fifty R, the V seventy R, and then there was the S sixty R and the V seventy R, and that was it. But yeah, like, like and right then it now, it became an appearance package. Right now, I'm actually joking. First, get get ready to laugh. I mean, two oh one to eleven. First Fiesta one point five DC TDCI. 95 HP ST line. Oh. Yes, <laughs> Teaser, 95 HP, and they, and they put ST on it. The 6 Gen Fiesta is a pretty cool car. Nah. What, you don't Three like the newer Fiesta? It's, nah, it's alright. The sharp angle one, the one that's literally like everywhere because British people have no imagination. It's I mean, it's all right. It's completely inoffensive and quite nice. Uh, I mean, I mean, there is a lot of those in France too. So yeah. Why? Like, they're fun in eco booths. But if you say still with 95 HP and the diesel, why? Why do you do that? Someone tells me that's more of a replica. Hmm. Unless it's a new, the new Fiesta. No. Nice. It's actually a nested line, so you know. The new New Fiesta is very nice, actually. I've sat in a few of those. Fair play. I sat in a Viginale. Which comes with quilted leather. And it's like 25 grand, so no one's ever going to spend that on a Fiesta. First Fiesta Wikipedia speaks, so I can actually see what. I don't understand the Viginale 
forts because they literally sell like none of them. They're just you, brown you... forts with leather. Wait, the seven gen doesn't. So you, which one do you mean? You mean the one with the Aston Grail or the? The six gen is the one I'm talking about, the sharp one. Yeah, because you've got the first gen, which is a box. The second gen, which is a box. The third gen, which was like a box. Then there was the fourth gen, <laughs> which was well a curvy box. Then there was the fifth it's... one, which was that. Then there's the sixth gen, which was edgy, and then there's the seventh gen, which was smoothy edgy. Yeah, and as for this, for the seven gen, I actually got rid of the earth and grill. Yeah. They put the 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 bland, the ugly one. They put on every form. Yeah. I saw a Jaguar XJ with the worst grill in the world for sale today. Oh. It's like. Oh boy. Yeah, I see what you mean. The Mark V. Yeah, the Mark V just sort of. Hello. A car. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. It's basically a Ford Fusion, but... Yeah. yeah. Remember the Ford Fusion? No. I mean, you're not supposed to. You're a real Canadian. But, wait, no. the, 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 they, 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 they actually made a fist in Germany? Yeah. Spain and Germany? Yeah, all Ford... Most European Fords are German. They just happen to build some of them in the UK, like the Escorts. The Escort RS Cosse. 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 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. You, you mean you mean the actually good Escort? I, I mean all Escorts are good. I like all the Escorts. Yeah, but you get what I mean. I suppose these the days are just cool. You get what I mean, the, the one that the Chav will never get. Well, you can't buy a... if you're a Chav, you can't get a Cosy these days, because it's like 60 grand. Yeah, that's what I mean, the one the Chav will never it's get. It's like how all RS5... it's like the RS500 Sierra. Like, the actual touring cars are worth like 20 grand, but the... Re oh my god! <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> what? what did you see? What happened oh, it's done! For the first time in, I'm not joking, about two months. I'm so happy. What happened to me? There's rain outside. Actual physical water. Rain. Yeah. Oh, hey, I, I can actually be an Indian. But you're in England, it's supposed to rain. Fuck off, Leo! Yeah, it hasn't time. rained for years. Like months here, my car's Whoa. covered in yes. fucking pollen and shit. Oh god, but yeah. But it rained. I mean, you don't care about your car because it's red. So... Question is, the Clio ever been washed? Yes. Oh wow. Okay. I fear that may be one of the reasons why one of the panels is rusty. <laughs> <laughs> First time it's ever seen water. <laughs> yeah, though. So. Fucking. Is it so rust or is it not just like a nasty nick or something? Oh no, it's rust. It's properly orange, eat browny, rusty. I mean, it's probably not that bad. Pull down the arch. So, so guys, guys, if I'm the best guy I can be. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love, take me all the way. 9088 IndyCar. Same. <laughs> so. V8 goes rough. Nice. I, I don't like it. I think it's HP. That's I haven't fair. particularly been liking this weather because I have to park under a tree. I have to I drive yeah. in fucking 30 degree weather on the motorway today, so yeah. I'm I turned on my air conditioning and I got attacked by fucking tree seeds or some shit. I turned on my air conditioning, but I have to turn it off every time I try to overtake someone. Yeah, that's because you bought a shit slow car. It's What's not air conditioning. That's if, even that, even I listen, don't need to listen, fuck to face. I don't even have air conditioning. I have one better. What? Climate control. Wow. They say Wait, climate. Con mean? The problem is, it's if, climate control. If, the here's the issue. Go. It's climate control with knobs, which basically means it's just air conditioning. Fancy. 
Yeah. So, cli is climate control air conditioning, but you can turn it on hot? The idea with climate control is you can set the temperature in the car, but oh. it's not like... With air conditioning, you get like those four uh, motor speeds, and you yeah. get like... Um, like blasting myself in the face. And it's like the blue, 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 red, 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 red. Yeah. With climate yeah. control, basically you can adjust the fan however you like it. You usually have a digital readout which tells you how many degrees the air is blowing and stuff. So. You fancy bastard. Mm. Mm -hmm. Subaru give you a wide, a wide range of temperatures. Which oh! Are, well, in most oh! climate control systems, it's like... I think you can go usually from like 15 to... I don't know, 40 maybe? I don't know, I've never actually... This is in Celsius, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Basically, usually you can adjust... Oh god, the Integra's bullying the Mazda. Usually you can do pretty well. In the Subaru, you get a choice of uh, about 10 degrees. You can have 20, 25, or 30. You can go infinitely in between those, but you have either 20, 25, or 30. Guys, I, I found the best car. What? What? Th there, is, there, is a, there is a freaking Talbo. Lotus, 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 oh yeah, the car, the car company that I fought forever was, was United Kingdom, because poor Talbot is in Wales, but no. Talbot's French. Yeah. Oh, it's French, it's French, English, cries a little weird. Uh, 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 oh, I, fuck mean, it. I mean, I, mean it, it, I, think it, I think at first it was actually Peugeot Sport or something. Yeah, like it's Peugeot Talbot and then cries bought it and then it kind of died because Chrysler and, can't keep anything alive other than and, themselves. And, and then if, 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 if he Peugeot bought it back when they bought everything from uh, Chrysler. <laughs> Might have done that. Uh... Nah. So, oh hey, it's yeah. this Fuji. This dick. It has a chicane, but it's in an even worse place than the chicane on the other track. For 55,000 euros I can get a Talbot and be Motus. You know, you Ludo, you're supposed that. to be looking at cars that you can like actually, you know, Buy. I mean, Not cars that are fifty-five thousand euros. Oh, and and the, and it's as low as return on the engine. I'm not going to give you a small loan of fifty thousand euros. You don't have you don't have it anyway. So. I probably do. It's like ten pounds in actual money. <laughs> I mean, I give give me a small loan of one hundred and twenty thousand euros, and I can get that fucking Indy car. Oh, so you want 22 quid and 43 pence? Sure. No, I, fuck that, I ain't giving him that. He ain't worth that. What <laughs> a joke. When he becomes, like, Inferno the Fox useful, I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know a fun thing about the Volvo S60 T5 Sport? No, I don't actually. <laughs> Is it because I said it's full name of Volvo S60 T5 Sport? Yes. Yeah. They have, um... They have those weird gear sticks that haven't got any lever. It, it's okay. just like a silver sphere. Okay. It's the same so thing as spaceship civics have if you've ever been so, in those. So when oh. so in the summertime you had to drive with other mitts on. Well, I think it's made of plastic, but yeah. Oh, okay. oh Civic Type R EP3 HD. There's oh. the thing, Scotia. That, that, that's why you buy an automatic. But it's, 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 it's a new Type R, and an actual one. Don't buy an EP3. Fortunately well, for me, well, my... It's an actual Type R. My knob is made out of rubber. Wait, wait, <laughs> I, I know... As my a, knob is also why. made of rubber. Uh, as a what's oh, your wait. knob made of? Um, Some weird sort of... I don't even know what it is. It's sort of... It's actually an English, English EP3. An English it's EP3, an English... that's the one you don't want. Yeah. yeah. It actually does a fucking speed on the... You want the Japanese one. I mean, it might be Japanese one. So the Japanese ones yeah. make more power. It might be in Japanese one, but I don't know. The English ones make 200 horsepower, the Japanese ones make 212. Wow. I mean, it doesn't say... 100 R horsepower. And the Accord Euro R makes like the same thing because it's got the same engine. 
look at his beauty. But the Accord Euro R is cooler than the Civic Type R because it's not driven by dickens. <laughs> Instead, it's driven by people who way overestimate the values of Accord Euro Hi. R's. <laughs> Super Subaru Impreza GT. GT. No, you don't want that. Wow. You want an R Sport. No. Because the 2 litre naturally aspirates pretty good. I'm not sure. The 2 litre NA is good, the 1.5 NA is... Probably By the way, slow. It, has a, it has a mama wheel. <gasps> wow! Yeah, all Subarus did back then. Is it one of those... is it the first gen? Uh, it's a 1991. Yeah, it's a disappointment gen, never mind. <laughs> oh, disappointment gen. <laughs> because the second gen's cooler, suck my knob. No. I'd rather not. But we're in the 22 day. No. I, I, I like how I, I, everyone I, I, says I, I, that. Like my favorite Prince is the 22 B. It's like, is it? Is it just because that's the only fucking first gen model you actually know by name? <laughs> <laughs> so like the 22 B is not a bet. The 22 B, right? Is a coupe. Which isn't a correct Impreza, and it's also got wider arches, which isn't a correct Impreza. The best WR Impreza is the hatchback. I, I can get another for me, one for the first Do you want stabbing? <laughs> Do you want stabbing? <laughs> Goshen, have you ever been told that you're a disappointment? It's a bit like yes. saying the best member of the Raw roster is fucking Sunil Singh. Actually, the best person on the roster right now is Titus O'Neil. Fuck you. Oh. We all literally threw someone off a cage yesterday, you're not that, impressed? That that has to be oh, fake. Are you not entertained? The, the, I, mean, I, I love, I love uh, his Twitter uh, uh, app. I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> recent, I, I found a nut for Valkyrie. Nice. This fucking, this fucking Twitter app. 4 million 14,000 euros. Oh dear. If I can, if I can Ron's Twitter actor word and it's like, what Kevin won could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's just saying like, oh, Braun doesn't care about wins and losses. It's just like, can you just not appreciate the moment? He threw fucking Kevin Owens on a table. It was funny. I gotta admit, I'm fucking Rod. Kevin. Kevin Owens last night was the MVP. Raw tonight was amazing. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> yeah, Raw tonight was amazing. Raw <laughs> to a month ago. I didn't upload an episode today, so 105 is the next one. So this is exactly 30 in front of that. Mhm. Mm yeah. So because I'm, let's see I what's going for Boston friends. But yeah, fucking Kevin Owens was amazing in that match. He drops a stone called Stunner. He did suck it. <laughs> He was Kevin Owens. He did CM Punk's thing. So, uh, uh, so, so, someone, someone wanted to 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 get, to get a good laugh. So said, you know, me. every time you explode in laughter, I get happy. Yeah. So, fight me like case, a man. So, in case you don't know, they actually changed the fucking speed limit in France on a road with no dividers. It's not 90 kph anymore. It's 80. And I'm going around on. on the That's like place and I... two miles an hour in reels. Yeah, if you want, but yes. So yeah, and, and so someone make a fucking ad saying that they are selling twenty thousand, uh, mm. twenty thousand ninety ninety signs for eight million euros. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about Black Ops Four. Can we not? Can we yeah, let's not. Can we just sort of accept it's a COD game and? I'm probably gonna buy it when it comes out, and that's it. So, Humorous Hall. What? So, there is a there is a referee for sale. Humorous Hall. It's a fucking game. Yeah. Seven twenty S Coop P one GT. Nobody has fuck? a season pass in it. So does every single fucking game. Who cares? Who said it the other day? Actually, that was like, I really feel like Activision changed this year. Lucky's Tail didn't have one. What was it? There's just like. Well, Overwatch doesn't have one, that gives players free DLCs, and it's just like... What the fuck does Overwatch have to do with COD? One's fucking made for, like, 12-year-olds to run around and have fun on. One's made for 11-year-olds to wank over the anime characters, isn't it? <laughs> like, come the fuck on. Who gives a fuck? 
Yeah, we'll talk. But Activision's evil. It's like no shit. They're a games company. Every games company is evil. Yeah. yeah. So unless yeah. you're Polyphony yeah. Digital, in which case you're evil and intentionally just because Kaz is just wanking off over. A so, so for for one per five million, you I can get a uh, rally red buggy. Ludo. What? Fuck off. what did we tell you? But uh, there is no chip count they want. You want an yeah, alpha? No. You're like close to the Italian border. Go hop over oh. and get one. No, I'm not close to the Italian border. I'm close to the fucking German border. So, so, so. Well, go up. buy yourself a BMW 723i. Yes. You know I can. You know I can do that. Yeah, do it. How do you? How do you feel about? How do you feel about Randy Orton kicking uh, Jeff Hardy in the nuts? He's the most boring man in the world. I just wish he'd retire. Just fuck off. <laughs> no one likes you, Randy. You're fucking gay. Just fuck off. I'm not asking well. much. I just... <laughs> Uh, I mean, More to I mean, a point, I'm why not... can Shinsuke Nakamura just not finally enjoy winning something for a change? But no, Randy Orton so... has to come out and like look at him in the eyes while I'd kick someone else in the bollocks. So, I, I mean, <laughs> question. Hmm? Uh, are all 7 3 fucking automatics? Probably. Then I don't That's the point of those cars, they're supposed to be auto. No, fuck that. They're then. big cruisers, that's what the point of them is. Yeah, but I, I don't want to It's a bit like saying, does the Mona Lisa have a penis? Like, you're missing the point. I don't want to fix automatic. But why not? Get one with Tiptronic mode. Fuck that. I, 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 I'm not going to. Ludo! Be I've got the perfect what? car for you. What? You like unreliability, yes. non dependability. Why don't you just get a Porsche Cayenne? <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to look fucking cunt. Yeah, but girls will be yeah, attracted to you. Like that girl in China who was attracted to that guy who f she thought had a Porsche Cayenne, but she sort of looked at it closer one night and figured out it was a Chinese knockoff, so left him. Because <laughs> <laughs> we uh, live in okay. a material world, and I am a material girl. I'm going to be a 530i. Okay, get a Except 530i. Get a 5 series. Except, except he does way, way, too ma way too many fucking miles. You said you wanted a 5 series, get a 5 series. Get a fucking 5 series, you dick! Yeah. Or get like, you I don't know, one. fucking... You want you to have one. Get a Mercedes C-Class. Like an old that. one. Like one of the ones that survive forever. You know Germany, you can probably buy like a cheap C36 AMG or something. No. Uh. Just to buy fix. an Aldi All Road. I saw one of those today. I was quite impressed. Really? The mm. one dead? Yeah, two thousands Aldi All Road. Son of a bitch. I mean, the Audi A4 is a kind of an okay car. Yeah, the All Road is. The Audi A8 is a car which I'm. Keep cropping up with. So, so, so th there is 25 all roads in for sale in France. All roads. Why don't you get an Audi A8? They're big. Oh, hello, oh, Motorland. Oh. But this is Motorland Reverse. Oh, it's <gasps> this track. So much different. Right. How many times do you think the Integra is going to go into the pits? Because I think the Integra is going to keep on the steering into the pits, right? Seven. Seven. So, uh, uh, as, yeah, I'll put more money on them. As I, as I you, you want a good laugh? No, I don't. It's Motor One. Yes. We're going to get a good laugh out of this anyway. Y mm. Yes, you want. S someone is selling a, a 2.7 bitch of a rod, and they. S it, uh -huh. it, 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 it's, it's an auto, and they actually say that they will exchange it for a C5 tour. I don't see how it can get worse than an all road now. I mean, that's the one with the 2.7T engine. You had a choice of engines in the all road, and all of them were terrible. You could get the 2.7, which was terrible, or you could get the 2.5 diesel, which is known for being I mean, terrible. The thing about the C5 is, it's a competent automobile. Oh, I saw a dead S-Class today. Good. 
like an S class that was like sat in someone's front garden and like the air suspension had collapsed and it was just sort of sat there rusting. How can you tell it wasn't just slammed? Because it was sat there rusting. How can you tell that isn't the look they were going for? Because it was covered in moss. <laughs> okay, fair point. <laughs> and like, stop playing you up now. Tree shit. You can buy an S class for cheap. You can, but then you have to. The buy problem is, I, I'd rather have an Audi A8 over an S class. Mhm. Mm yeah, I can. Yeah. And then I'd rather yeah. have a Volvo S80 over an Audi A8. I'd rather have a 7 Series over an A8. Wait and see how cheap the ugly 7 Series goes to. I might have one of those. No, actually I won't. The BMWs, never mind. Wow, well, okay then. Well, I don't want a BMW. I'm not a Mandem, am I? Mandems, Mandems! I, I'm not a Mandem and I want You to are a Mandem. No. You are. If you buy a BMW, you are a Mandem. Especially if you buy a black BMW. Here's a, here's a Mandem. It's when you buy a black BMW and black it out. Uh, I, even if I got a black one, because that's the only color the one I would want might be available. I you can have any black, color you like want, as long as it's black. I mean, the BMW the, 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 marketing department, 2017. I thought black because it reflects my soul. <laughs> I, 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 I drive a BMW because it's edgy as I am. <laughs> if my BMW is a person, it would, too would listen to Lincoln Park. <laughs> is that why all BMWs kill themselves? And saying X rip XXX. Tonsils, or whatever his name was. XXX Tonsils. My sister got fucking triggered when I said, like, the only pe reason anyone knows his name is because he's dead. To be fair, I'd never heard of the fucker. Like, I'm only... sure he was good, or something, I don't it, know. The only reason people know his name is either because he died or he was an abuser. It's sad he's, he's dead, dead, but he fuck me, I hate. Sexual abuser. Yeah, I, listen, here's the thing. It's sad he's dead, rip. But at the same time, why the fuck does every rapper have to fucking have their fucking face painted like a fucking Ronald McDonald cosplayer these days? God, uh, why honestly... do you need all the face tattoos? Oh, there's the Integra. Yay! It crashed into the pit wall, if you didn't notice. <gasps> does this mean the 206 might Yeah, the 206 be might beat the Integra. Oh, shit! Oh, no. If the 206 beats the Integra, you're never allowed the Integra, Ludo. The Integra's name has been fucking shagged. <laughs> if it loses to the mighty 206, Sissa. That's what the CC means, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Volvo! So the... You remember how you said French cars have a lot of buttons? Have a lot of rodents? But buttons, you know, the thing you push with your fingers. So oh, buttons. Yeah, I'm actually looking at the 740, just... And uh, there is a lot. The, there is like there is like 10 on the steering wheel. There is like 30 on the fucking uh, center console. There is there is at least 5 behind the steering wheel. The master has this issue. Because oh. the master has... The thing is, the master doesn't have buttons yeah. on the steering wheel. Though. The master has like toggle switches. And, and, then, and then there is Weird. the worst thing. There is the fucking phone. <gasps> oh yeah, you car get a car phone. phone. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would say... Buy yes. 7 series. I mean, I you can know get... You want a car phone. Yes. That, yeah, I mean, do you know, not no need for seven series. There isn't if there is. Everyone Some wants a six. car phone. I wanted a car phone ever since I was in like my fucking Porsche uncle's car, and he used it. And I'm like, what the fuck? I Question: mean, Can you use a car phone while you're driving? No. no. Like one of the old dial-up phones. No. You no. can't. No, you can't. Oh, you can? No, you can't. Can't. Cannot. Cannot! There is no such word as can't. You fucking cunt. 
You sound like my fucking maths teacher when you say that. There's no such word as can't you cunt. So I will show you. There it is. You, 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 you know that that's not the car for, for someone like you when you see that the fucking spare wheel has a mission pa mission pilot. I'm not joking. The, the fucking 740 that I'm looking at as a mi mission pilot. Here. Mission pilot super sports sponsored by Tavares. No, 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 Mission Pilot GX, but yeah, as a spare tire. Uh, oh, yeah. Fucking, I was reading an advert for a Volvo S60 the other day, it's pretty great. Oh. It okay. was sold by a guy who, like, apparently, when he buys a car to sell, he does a 140 mile round trip in it to prove that it's not a piece of shit. Or something, right? Yeah. And in the advert, it was just like, four Pirelli tires, no cheap shit. <laughs> oh, that's like a halo mile. That was on a Volvo S60 2.4T, which I kind of want. What what Volvo don't you want? Problem is the two point. I don't know if I want a manual or not. You do. Kind of think I'm getting bored with manual. No. Well, I mean, you are in the market for like a big cruiser, so maybe manual isn't as important as you think. I think the Subaru has made me fall out of love with manuals a bit because the Subaru's fucking manual gearbox is crap. Yeah, I was gonna say, how much is that of that is due to the fucking It's like Subaru's the clutch is shit, the fucking manuals shit. I just want my like, an auto's just like nice and smooth and easy and lovely. I dunno. The problem is. <laughs> the problem is, if I go Volvo, I have to have a Geartronic, which I know isn't the best auto transmission. I don't think it's too terrible because a lot of them are Geartronics, but I think the Geartronics a bit iffy occasional reliability. Mm -hmm. I've never heard any horror stories about the Honda six speeds, other than in like the early two thousands where they had to like recall all auto Civics and shit, but. My Accord's like a 2004, so it probably avoids all that shit. Or 2004, whatever. Something like that. Hi Integra, yeah, I'm about to lap you, how do you feel? Yeah, though, I reckon by 2004, they'd figure out how to make automatics that weren't piles of shit. Yeah, I think every single automatic issue I've heard with the Hondas was, like, late 90s to 2003, I think. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd buy that. I mean, obviously, it's not as strong as a manual, because manuals will stick around. Manuals are more reliable than autos. They just are. It's just a fact of life. Yeah, but it's just, you're buying a car as, like, a cruiser, essentially. The so, thing is, I'm starting to come around a bit more on the, a bit is mileage as well, because I'm sort of like at the point where like I'm, I'm still gonna try to stay under a hundred thousand because that bothers me. The Integra smashed straight into the pit wall, and the Audi smashed straight into the pit wall. I get that, Neil, but what was? There's the Integra. There's the Audi. Well, we've got Al Alossi's Mazda might win this. How the fuck? The Peugeot oh 206 God. might beat the Audi S3. Oh. Go Peugeot, Wait. go Peugeot, go. 740, 740, right? Manual. But yeah, like, I, I was looking at an Accord which has like 112k on it, I think. But it's a 2006 with full Honda service history, so. Quite temp. It looks clean as fuck. The, pop the only thing that pops me off is, is it's got the bigger option wheels. Um, it's rolling on 18s. Yeah. Yeah, which ride quality. The yeah. Ride quality. Uh, why do I want to? I I want one of those. Like I want the Accord when it came back in the day with like the fucking 15 inch wheels that have like a shit ton of tire roll to them. Uh, hey, Emil. Why do why do I want a ninety seven series? A ninety because the ninety seven series is the best seven eight, series. Eighties, I say. Because you like self torture. Yeah, that. CRX, no. Can't CRX. You need to pit as well now. 
lose to the 206. Actually, I think the 206 is ahead of the CRX, because I've seen the CRX before I've seen the 206. Oh, no. So, there you go, Ludo. The CRX X is about to lose to the 206. How do you feel? The 206 is clearly the best car. The 206 CC, no less. Well, yeah, the CC stands for... Com competitive. Ooh. Competitive, Quite yeah. frankly, I mean, we all know 206 CC actually stands for Con Crusher, so... Yes. Maybe that's what I should call the episode. Like, maybe that's what I should call the fucking that episode and see how long it stays on YouTube for. <laughs> Thirteen seconds. The cunt crusher. This video has been blocked for pornographic material. Listen, YouTube. I know the 206 CC is attractive, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's that pornographic. <laughs> that CRX is going to go into the pits if he's not careful. Hey, we've God, just done over 100 hard. miles in our Volvo. And it's good for 199,990 more. Yeah, that's the other issue with finding a Cord slash Volvo, is everyone's already done the fucking mileage in them. Yeah, well, you say that about, like, any car, though. Yeah, the thing is, though, with mileage is that, it's like that fucking car throttle thing with the Skoda. Where they like pulled apart the 450,000 mile Skoda's engine to reveal it's absolutely fine. Because whoever had it just serviced it properly. So. Yeah, that, that's why that one with like all service history is actually kind of a tempting buy. Yeah. It's, I was in the market for another The, the thing that tempts me about it is it's the 6 speed <laughs> automatic as opposed to the 5 speed. Which basically shaves a second off the 0 to 60. That's very good, actually. Because they were 6 speed manuals or 6 speed autos, and but before that, they were 6 speed manuals or 5 speed autos. And the 5 speed auto is only about half a second quicker than a 2 litre of a manual. Mm. But then again, 2.4 litre is like more torque and shit, so. I don't know. I'm to be honest with you. When it comes to a court, I'm not really bothered because with automatic, yeah, great. With manual, then hell yeah, it's a Honda gearbox. Yeah, I've Honda's... used. I I, well, I sat in a Civic the other day and I was just throwing the gear stick around. And I was like, oh, this feels sexual. Like you, you can just put it anywhere and it'll find a gear. It's great. It's so slick. Actually, there's the Integra and the S3. I actually haven't seen the fucking Peugeot. Oh no. I wonder where the Peugeot is. Also, my front tires are shag, but I ain't giving up. Yeah, why would you give up now? I ain't pitting, I'm only shitting. He says that, like, is literally only like a couple of seconds slower. As long as I don't get overtaken by the Mazda, it's fine. Oh, you won't. There's sort of two dots that are sort of coming near me, but... And and it's pretty incredible, though, the fact that this is a high-powered front-wheel drive car, and it's actually... Like, this is the only race where tyres have really been an issue. Every other race has been, like, fine with. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to leave it in third gear. Third gear's got all the torque in the world, so it's not too bad. And it doesn't wheel spin in third gear, so hooray, hurrah. There's some form of battle going on behind me between the Mazda and something else. Car. Hmm? We're all going to the yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Well, this event so far hasn't been absolutely fucking yeah. horrible. I want to fuck the Croatian president. And demonetized. Listen, I'm just saying she's. I'd, I'd fuck her. Well, I mean, I mean, you you're not. I mean, Putin wants to fuck her as well. Can't blame him. Fucking Putin's got a good taste in women. Probably. I mean, he's not got a good taste in limos, but... 
What Russian has a good taste in cars? Most Russian car people like BMWs and Mercs and shit. Yeah, BMWs are shit. And though. across the line. Don't tell Ludo I said that. I'm still the 206 oh. got third! Oh. Fucking! Yeah. None of you are allowed Hondas anymore. They've been outshone. Fuck you. The 206 no, has beaten an Audi. Fucking the 206 is a madman. I met out what the fuck I want. I don't give a shit. No. No, no, you took the bet. Factually better. Yeah, the 206 is factually better now. I don't give a shit. Gran Turismo 4 is the most realistic racing game of our time, and clearly everything about Gran Turismo 4 is super realistic. There you go. Uh, also, why is there like only 22 fucking M5 on sale in France? Because they're all and dead. And, and, and most of them are oh. E34 and not E39. Why? Uh, what? Why? Why what? Lombon? Why? To make you suffer. For what you say. I mean, Volvo was working on an LMP car at some point. Look at my fog light, suck my dick. You don't have any. The only thing that bothers me about the S60 is the interior is a bit naff. Like, your seats look awesome, but the actual interior is a bit naff. Also, yeah. Azza's gonna hate me about for this. Yeah, come on. I have a few crucial things that I need from the Volvo. Well, not only do I have my usual requirements of lever and power and saloon car and yada yada yada, I still have another bit of a naff request when it comes to Volvos. What? I kind of need the, the, the Bluetooth kit. Eh, yeah, fair enough. No, no, but not because I want Bluetooth, but because there's blank buttons on the dash if you don't. You're a parody of yourself. Right, all I'm saying, right, the Volvo S60, if you buy one normally, it's like this weird piece of dash which has nothing there. And I just thought it was just some, like, stupid design quirk, but do you know what I saw the other day? What? I saw an S60 with the phone option, and it's actually a phone. Like, it's got a little keypad and, like, ring things. I'm like, yes! Yes! Aww. It's like one of those old Bluetooth things where you actually have to, instead of, like, telling it who to call, you actually have to put their number in manually. <laughs> That's amazing. So I could get like a post-it note with everyone's number on it and just like ring it with my Volvo. Do you know That's the Toyota Avensis comes with car phone? No, it didn't. You can get I'm not interested with car phones. They were like stupidly expensive, so no one bought them. But there is like some Avensis that have car phones. So um, why are why are most of the freaking BMW? Black. Because Mandems. Mandem? Okay, I, I found the one in, in Swiss. Black right? Panther said he wanted a BMW the other day, I was just like, what? Oh, but he's a, he's a fucking cunt, he doesn't count. I haven't watched any of his shit in ages. I think Anything I just thought that Black Panther wants is bad. Like, as a guy, he's okay, but like, just fucking his opinions on cars and shit, it's just like, no. I think the only good opinion he's ever had on a car is that he wants a Volvo Polestar 1 or whatever the fuck. But I like how he's like, I want a Polestar 1 and then goes, I want a Skyline. And then his entire audience is like, why don't you buy an R84 and save up for an R84? And I, 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 I get this suspicion. Are you your fan base isn't mature? I, I just get this suspicion that Black Panther doesn't actually want to buy an R34. Something tells me. Yeah. Like, he spent 36 grand on an RCF, so... I mean, the thing about the R34 is, by this point, you're paying how much for not that much? Well, on R34, you're, you're basically getting up. a 20-year-old Datsun with 300 horsepower and all-wheel drive. Yeah, gotta be honest. To for the amount of money it costs, you could buy s so much actual... Good cars. Oh yeah, here's the issue with the R34 Skyline. 
This is about to trigger people. I hope you're ready. Trigger warning in Got three, it. two, one. A skyline costs 70 grand, right? An R34 GTR with all the bells and whistles. Yeah? Let's be honest, if you put like 15 grand into a WRX, it could probably do exactly the same thing. 15 grand? Not even that. No, like if you bought a really nice WRX for like 15 grand and put like 5 grand of work into it, you could probably make a car that was faster and handles better and is more practical. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, hell, you could put 20 grand into an Evo and make it reliable. I'd Again, also hazard a guess the Subaru would probably stay together better than the Skyline would. But the Skyline's the most reliable car in the world because it's a Nissan. Nissan's not reliable. The night in 99 when they like signed that agreement with fucking Renault. I don't know, it might have been. Yeah, actually, yeah. Like Mid-90s, that. mid, mid that's for sure. I remember Clarkson talks about it in on Clarkson's car years, which I think came out in like 2000, so... Uh, it, it was originally done by 2000, I think they actually did the thing in the mid-90s. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, the, the, the newest, like, joint venture car like, that had the 3.5 V6 is what I think of the start of the thing, but... Because that 3.5 V6 was in pretty much everything. What did I see for sale the other day that I kind of wanted? I don't know. Oh yeah, I showed you it, didn't I, As Actually, I think I posted it to the entire chat. I think I saw a Nissan Maxima for sale in this country, which is weird. That's odd. Like a Nissan Maxima QV, I think. Yeah, that's odd. I think you had like 200 horsepower. Like, I don't know. I, don't, I couldn't drive a Nissan. I've taken the piss out of Nissans too much to actually own a Nissan. Let's be honest, at this point there's only a couple of car brands I can actually be seen in because I haven't slagged them off that much. I can get a Volvo, I can get a Subaru, I can get a Honda, um, and a Ford, and that's about it. I guess I could get an Alfa Romeo because I sort of sing the praises of Alfa quite a lot. I couldn't buy anything German, could I? Let's be honest, realistically. No, you to, couldn't. To the ch as much as I kind of secretly want an AA, I can't buy an Audi. You, no. Oh, you do you know can't. what is cheap, actually? Fun fact. What? The mid 2000s Audi S4. You can pick one of those up for like five grand there. Ooh. I can't really get a Volkswagen. Have I taken a piss out of Skoda? No. I could. The problem is, I like the Octavia VRS, but I see that as more of a U car than a me car. Because the VRS is a little bit more. It's not really a cruiser, is it? I couldn't really go for VRS. Yeah. I like the mid 2000s one, like the one where they became curvy. Here's the thing, I'd get a, if I if you said to me buy a Volkswagen group car, I'd buy an Octavia VRS. Yeah. Like I wouldn't I'd buy a I'd buy an Octavia over a golf. As much as I like that GTI that I posted a couple of days ago, it was a free door so I can't have I want a five door. Like, I don't know, I'm obsessed. Right, I, I'm one of these weird people that think five-door cars look better than three-door cars. I'm like Fair the enough. only person I've ever spoke to. Like, my... I think my mother and stepfather constantly face palm when I say that. Like, I was looking at ST-170, I was like, ah, yeah, this is good, isn't it? I was just like, yeah, but I want five-door, and they're just like... But the three-door looks better, I was like... But it doesn't. <laughs> I think we almost got into a fist fight on the fucking forecourt. <laughs> Nice. I was like, no. Five door cars look better than three door cars. They just do. Like, the Fiesta. Opinions are opinions, and we all know how you treat opinions. I take them into consideration. You sure do. And then I shit on them. Yeah. And then people go, what did you do that for? And then I take that in consideration, and then I shit on them. 
Here's how this usually goes. Asa, give me an opinion. Um, I quite like Pokemon. Fuck uh, it. Pokemon shit cool. is full of bunch. Is for fucking people who are into animal cruelty. Okay. Fuck you, you fucking slut. What the fuck did you just say? You don't say okay to my opinion. Fucking, you fucking so yeah, okay. You fucking argue. You fucking argue, you fucking pe- Oh, hey, what? We're a two-man band! Oh. Oh, well. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. But we don't... I don't think you care. Me? I like Luda. Yeah, I do too. I don't know what more you can really say about French car listings, but... I, I don't like French cars in general. And I'm actually scared that he likes his... I think, he's, I think he's gonna buy another French thing. Yeah. I th Do you know what? I think as much as he doesn't want to admit he wants to take it off, I think he likes his Miguel. Why else? As in, I think he really likes the Miguel. Why else does he defend it all the time? Exactly. It's like you defending... Like, I know you don't like the clear. No, I don't! The Integra beat the S3 again. CRX. Nice. But yeah, I know you don't like the clear, but like, I think he likes them again. I think he really likes them again. Yeah. Which is a bit of an issue. Mm hmm. But hey. The thing is, I wonder if he thinks he's going to get mocked for it. I don't really care. Like, you yeah. like what you like, just make you like it, for fuck's sake. Yeah. I don't Can't believe really gu guilty pleasure bullshit. If you like something, you like it. Embrace it. Yeah. Hello. Sup, boner. Thank, Thank God you're back, we're getting existential. Anyways, I will... Hey, El Capitan! Why is every fucking track in reverse? Because... Infineon wasn't, technically. Technically. My mates asked, why are BMW drivers cunt? Uh, why do people breathe? Anyways, as a... Yeah? One, two, three, funk, there's a link to that chord I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna have a look, hang on. Lean back. Lean back. I do the rock away. No, lean back. Oh, that's quite nice. I know. I got a data item in the 740 years I and I just gotta live because I can ride till I die. <laughs> the thing is, it's perfect spec as well. It is. It has parking sensors. Which I kind of want because I'm a fucking nerd. Like I said, the only problem is them wheels. You're a bad driver. Oh well. But they look please. good though, so. You have parking sensors because you can't park. Well, it's a bigger car, that's the issue. Scotian, do you park in, Amer in Canada where like every space is measured with like fucking whatever. Tape measure. Yeah, where every space is like fucking they were like park a Sherman tank in there. And they measured That's Sherman like tanks. Like we have parking spaces, actually. which I'm not joking. Do you know what the length of do you know what the length of the UK parking space was for? Less than my truck. No, it, it was so a nineteen fifties Ford Anglia could park in there comfortably. Yeah. That's what it was designed Our, for. Ours was a 1929 Ford Model T. Yeah, which is a big car. Compared to a... Really, it's M once you think about it. Yeah, but an Anglia is smaller. Yeah, it's a game of comparisons. Yeah. Trust me, your parking spaces are way bigger than ours are. Yeah. And then you go to America and it's like fucking homicide because fuck you. I still Thing can't is, park my fire for comfortably. I can't park my area. I'm like, they barely fit in the fucking car park. Oh, I hate bay parking, but. Luckily, I have this thing where I just park as far away from normal people as humanly possible because I don't want anyone to bang their doors into my car. 
Same. Because I paid money for you, my car, but unlike you with your fucking Nissan Cash Kai on finance, who doesn't give a fuck? <laughs> fucking piece of shit. No, I, can I can barely fit my Firebird in a parking space. How wide is the Firebird? Like, fucking. Because he can't be, like, wide. that wide, right? I will fucking get a thing. The only problem with that is it'll be an American babble. Or does Canada use metric? I don't remember. Yeah, Wikipedia only uses metric anyway. What's it say? Get it up and I'll tell you. Get it up and get it down. Get it to go round and round. Alright. 72.4 inches. Which is? Fucking. So. So. Cars. Yeah, we're waiting to find out how big the Firebird is. Yeah. I like how you say. Six. Go on. Six feet. Which is. Six feet. I need millimeters. Oh. 180 centimeters. So That's a, how we work. So 1800 millimeters. Aren't I smart? Yeah, the country's weird. It's fucking half metric, half imperial. Yeah, our country's. Our country's just like an entire thing is just half and half. 1838.96. Like, why so the that fuck is about 50 millimeters off the width of what the Accord will be. In fact, that's exactly the same width as the Lexus GS430, and it's about 150 millimeters short of the Volvo S80. Because the S80 yeah. is wide. And, yeah, my Firebird barely fixed and fits into a parking space, even lengthwise. Yeah, my Impreza's has issues here, and that's 1,600. Yeah. And with the Ford, it's try your best. Yeah, pickup trucks are probably quite hard to park. Apparently with one as long as mine. Is your, yeah, because yours, isn't yours a long wheelbase or something? Yeah, yeah. it's a long, it's a seven foot box. Why did you buy a truck again? Four wheel drive. You should have bought a La Forza. Should have bought a. What the hell is a La Forza? Google La Forza. It's the best SUV. It, he says that it's not. It is the best SUV. Does it come with a fridge? No. Then it's not. Then it's not no, the no, it's SUV. the best. Do you know why it's the best SUV? It doesn't come with a fridge. Yeah, but it's a Fox Body Mustang that got turned into an SUV that just so happens to be built by Italians. Yeah, because that don't work. For the American market. Because that don't wor work. Oh, and one better. It's a luxury SUV. <laughs> so, yeah, you should have bought a LaFalza. Should he? Should he really? I mean, to be fair, I'm trying to think of anything else four-wheel drive that you could get, though. Because, obviously, you don't care about Japanese stuff, so that's basically Subaru out back off the table. Hey. What? I like the four-runner. I take it four-runners were too expensive. Eh, the one I want is too expensive. Which one do you want? The one with the 1UZ. Oh. V8. Oh yeah, that's the other reason you bought the truck. V8. Actually, I would have, I would have been fine with the 300 that it went in, that went in it. What the? 
straight six. The one oh, that the four RKD thing. has. The engine that RKD has, because they're bulletproof as hell. They yeah, but I mean, you got, don't make is it. he also 302 or 5 -0? Both. Oh yeah, they're the same engine. <laughs> yeah, but the 5 is pretty bulletproof. <laughs> America was built off that engine for a while. Well, if I can... If I can survive what my Firebird has been put through. Why? What's your Firebird been put through? 16 miles with the, with little to no oil. <laughs> uh, why did it have little <laughs> to no oil in it? Because it burnt out. Why did you drive it 16 miles with little to no oil? Because. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the wisest, are you? I want my Firebird to turn into a proper Firebird. I want it to be Phoenix. I came into a park a lot, it was fucking... <laughs> Ticking and going on, and I put oil in it, it was fine. Yeah, I suppose it's okay. <laughs> I'm surprised it's okay. I've done that many times. I've only had to do it with an oil leak once in my life. And ancient text, there's no oil in it, put oil in it, it's fine. <laughs> That's how my car works. You know, the amazing thing is, I don't actually check the Subaru's oil very often, but it got changed like. April, so it should be on it. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even know what fucking oil it takes if it needed any more anyway. You wanna know something? Hmm? I've still got in the back of my Impreza, and it's probably gonna end up in the Accord. I have a bottle of motor lube oil. Wow. That I bought from motor a panda. Lube. Wow. So, if I put it in the Subaru, it'd die, but I just carry it around with me because I don't know what else I can do with it. <laughs> you can sell it. to a man with a panda. I can set it on fire. Or something. Sell it to a man with a panda. That's a bad idea. Why, why is it a bad idea? Because... Then you'll die. Sell it to and a man who will take piss out No, no, I'm not like... I'm not gonna like stand on top of a match and go, huh, <laughs> huh. I think you should, actually. I, I just... Gonna like, I don't know. Film Maybe it. get like one of those tool, cool Top Gear shots and like surround the car in it and then set fire to it so it looks cool like the car's in the middle of it but the rest of it's around. And then the car will end up burning down and I'll cry. Mm. I don't think cars are flammable. Mostly. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do with it. It's like a fresh bottle as well. Chug it. But the worst bit is it literally only works in that panda. I don't think it works in any other. Chug, 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 chug. Gosh. I told you to set the over to me with a panda. What else do I have in the... I have like loads of random shit in the back of my car. I've still got the two fucking rear brake lights for the Impreza. The ones that I took off are just still in the back of the car. Because I was supposed to Way get to rid of them and never did. Why are you hoarding right brake lights? I don't know. I've also got a Tesco bag. Well, that that's an essential. And I've also got a pair of fluffy dice that I've been in every car I've owned. Because I got bought them as a joke and they just sort of sit in the back window. You're, you're a fucking old man. Don't, I'm super happy. The next car I've got a fucking perfect sticker to put in the window. Oh. I've got uh, the famous official old person sticker here in the UK. Dog's Trust. Yes. A dog is for life, not just for yep. Christmas. Yep, I have that sticker. Yeah. I'm ready to put that in. The next card, the Accord. Mm -hmm. Slash Volvo, slash yeah. Alpha. Put that on your, put that on your Accord, you're immediately 50. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's the point with all my cars, though. I don't try. I try to give off the vibe that they're like owned by 65 year old men. <laughs> you do a good job. Uh, that's why the panda had the fluffy dice, and I always use those uh, fucking t uh, t uh, tree shaped um, air fresheners. Oh yeah, those I thought, air fresheners. I, I use those because they're fucking good. The lucky trees. Yeah, I love them. You get I high need... as a fucking kite as soon as you put them in. It's great. I, I need to get. You I need to get some of those one. air fresheners. Yes. To fucking... 
New car sent fan club, hell yeah. Yes. I, I, I need to get I need to get those air fresheners to fucking do away the coolant the burning coolant smell in my truck. Why does it smell like burning coolant? Because oh, coolant leaked out onto the fucking headers and the headers burnt the coolant. Hey. Oh. You know, there's only one word for that. Oops. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the Audi beats the Integra. So. Way. So I kind of. So I dumped a half a bottle of antifreeze into the truck, and now I have a good heater. Nay. Oh, I assume you don't have air conditioning. It's just the heater. Yeah, it's just a heater. The Firebird has air conditioning, but it doesn't work, so it doesn't matter. And you say he's just a heater, and you say it's just the heater. You, you got all the heat. Ow. And you say it's Suzuka Circuit. Oh, fuck it, Suzuka Circuit. Oh, baby, yeah. And it's, and it's fine on that truck because fucking, it doesn't, for whatever reason, it the Firebird likes to dump heat out of the uh, vents for s some reason. Hmm. Does the Firebird have aircon? He has. It has air conditioning, but it, even though it's not on, it dumps heat out of the vents. Oh. That's no bueno. That is no brain, no. <laughs> I put uh, the chimichanga in the microwave for uh, about one minute. They taste really, really good. Hello, yeah, you cooking the steak. You didn't pull it from here, do you? It doesn't seem to be overheating, maybe that's why. It's really salty. Did we not test this before we tried this? It doesn't overheat. Well, the Firebird doesn't seem to be overheated. Maybe it's because it's dumping its all of its engine heat onto the into the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Like, I know they look somewhat similar. Did you accidentally buy a Mazda RX-7? No. <laughs> like, it just so happens to like you accidentally bought. Them. <laughs> That'd be great. After a couple of years, walks up the registration document. Well, shit. I mean. <laughs> I mean, you can take. Yeah. I mean, all you, oh, for all you want, you can take uh, LRC's RX-7 and drain most of the oil out and run it for 60 miles, see if it lives. <laughs> Masters are used to working without oil, though. So, isn't like some weird engines like that can survive no oil? Yeah, it's called a Ford Tempo engine. <laughs> yeah, but that's not a car that you, like, accidentally leave without oil. That's a car that you intentionally leave without oil because you want it to die. <laughs> you just put fucking antifreeze in the oil tank and just go on your way. Yeah. <laughs> All I can envision in my head right now is that, like, gif of that woman with the mini who, like, just goes out to a bottle of oil and just pours it all over the car. <laughs> I hate that fucking... Picture. Why? I don't know why, it just. It's a good gift. Irks me. I mean. You know, the worst bit is it's probably happened. Oh, it's probably happened the same way as people put diesel in a gas vehicle. No, I don't understand that. Yeah, no. The nozzles are different sizes, like. Our on. Persia got misfueled ones. Our our nozzles are different colors. Uh, because my stepdad accidentally put petrol on. Because here's the thing: they protect petrol cars from getting diesel fuel because they made the diesel no nozzles bigger. But the problem is the petrol nozzles, which is actually worse to put petrol in a diesel than the other way around. They make those nozzles very small, so they just slip right in. Yeah. But the Persia survived the drive home, and then we eventually used... I think we've run out of it now, but we used the contaminated uh, petrol for fires. 
Wow. It works pretty well because petrol burns like a lower frequency and then diesel burns at a higher one, so the petrol gets going and the diesel gets going. That's a good idea. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, don't ever put petrol in your diesel cars because I mean it's not good. I mean diesel runs off compression anyway. That's why they don't yeah, have exactly. spark plugs. They don't have spark yeah. plugs, yeah. That's why they do that weird fucking runaway thing RCO was on about. Where the engine will just keep going even if you turn it off. Yeah, it's called dieseling. Yeah. Sound. It's called being a fucking retard and turning your fuel pump up too much to do the fucking stupid... I'm rolling coal! Coal! Roll coal! I'm <laughs> roll coal! Why do I people got do my that? 1992 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. I'm a roll some cow. I got my vape with me. Yeah, I'm vaping Let's and rolling roll coal. coal at the same time. My parents really love me. <laughs> There's this one time when my dad came into my room and said, Son, how the fuck did you come from my lawn? You're a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> And I just vaped in his face and said, Screw you, Dad! I'm gonna go punch your mom in the mouth. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've just got something bad in my head now. Then there's this other time he came in my room, and he said, Son, no wonder I beat your mother up during pregnancy. You're the result. Fuck's sake. Fucking Jesses. Fucking vaping. Do people still do that? So that's, do you so know, that's I've seen, people... have you ever seen those job applications where it's like, come work in a vape shop because there's loads of them popping up. Do you know what the required experience of one of them was? What? Vaping yeah, one year. <laughs> you needed one year's experience of vaping. Fuck off. Like, come the fuck on, one... it's literally just fucking blowing... Nice smelling smoke. You also got you also have to have one year experience of driving a second gen Golf Jetta GT TDI. Yeah. Or Golf because this place has no Jettas. No. I get excited when I see Jettas. I'm like the only person in the world who does. <laughs> I saw I saw like an old Jetta the other day and holy shit my jaw dropped. And then, and then there's me who sees a Jetta and just goes, "You cunt." Oh yeah, I forgot you. Just, I like how you just hate anything that's important. It's great. <laughs> like if it's important, no, I just it, if it's important doesn't have a V8, it's worthless. I just hate Volkswagen Jetta's with a passion. Of the TDI variety. What's wrong with them? They're just cars. It's the fucking. It is to drive them. <laughs> It's a Volkswagen. That's a given. They're just driven it's by people car, who don't yeah. have any more imagination. <laughs> and there's that one guy I work I worked with at a Jetta TDI, and he was fucking doing a alternator. He was fixing his alternator, and his alternator was way down at the bottom, so he had to fiddle with the and with the front end. Nice. To remove it and. Fucking! I was le I was leaving the shop, and he just said, "Do don't buy a Volkswagen Jetta." <laughs> <laughs> as you walk out to your Firebird, with the fucking, yeah. as you walk out to the Firebird that has the fucking Republican flag on the roof, and play and plays nothing but Johnny Cash and the Dukes of Hazard theme song. <laughs> they're proud of no, the just... South. They call the General Lee. I'm the General Lee. No, you no, you just fucking have the fucking Confederate flag on the on the uh, fucking rear windshield and just fucking play eastbound and down while leaving. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, dude, don't buy a jet. Okay, puts the fake mustache on, puts Burt Reynolds' fucking cowboy hat on, eastbound and down, jumping through the windows. <laughs> <laughs> just. Get... <laughs> Just pay some guy in an 18 wheeler to follow you around everywhere. Who happens to have a dog? Yep. 
Fucking, I need to watch the Smoking the Bandit films again at some point soon. They're just funny. Apart from the third one, the third one's a bit shit. Yeah, the third one is shit. Because the second one is... yeah. The first one's amazing. Yeah. Is the second one the one where it's the... I'm trying to remember. Is the second one the one where it's like the, the father and son duo are like exactly the same? What? The second one's the, the one where, where the woman from the first one tries to marry Dewey, right? And they like run away from the wedding, if I remember rightly. Yeah, again. Yeah. The second time and then they transported an elephant. The second one's the one where he has the pacemaker, isn't it? The one that makes that beeping sound every time he's stressed. Yes. Yeah, they're both great films to be fair, they're just funny. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it was the one they were transporting a pregnant elephant. Yeah. I haven't seen them and in ages, so I don't remember too much from them. Yeah, and then there was that one scene where fucking the Buford T. Justice hired on his fucking relatives. <laughs> oh yeah. Buford T. Justice, fearless law of Texas, the man that changes the take yeah, chase the bandit coast to coast. Where are you, Justice, when we need you the most? Fucking, I need the soundtrack from that film, it was great. Because there's just a bunch of fucking oh, like Jerry Reed shit because he's the truck driver. Yeah. Amos Malusus was a Cajun, he lives by himself in the swamp, he hunted an alligator for a loop. He just knocked him in the head with a stone. The Louisiana law is gonna get you, Amos. So I remember when the song from San Andreas. Yeah. Wow. Is Jerry Reed still alive or is he dead now? No, he's dead. He's been dead. For a while. Ah. Burt Reynolds is still alive, obviously. That's why the world yeah. still has a soul. This is why the world has mustaches. Yeah, the Burt Reynolds can't die though, I'm fairly certain. <laughs> well, fucking Clint Eastwood can't, so. He doesn't fucking age, that's the thing with Burt Reynolds. His hair just gets slightly greater, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks the same all the time. Well, fucking. Fucking uh, Clint Eastwood looks immoral, so. Oh, yeah. Plus, yeah. So that is fucking. Fucking. What's his face? With the, lo with the really low voice. <laughs> Sam Elliott. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's like Sylvester Stallone doesn't really age. He just looks more and more like he's having a stroke as the years <laughs> goes on. He also. He also sounds like more. He sounds more like he's having a stroke. <laughs> no, no, no. He's like full on American, <laughs> right? Like he's like Tommy Wazoo in the sense that he's like, you could swear he's not American. Because like Tommy Wazoo literally can't say a word of English either. <laughs> but apparently he's like from fucking Buffalo or some bullshit. Not tearing me apart, Lisa. Okay. I wonder if he's aged. He or he I think he was born looking like sixty five years old, so <laughs> and looking like fucking Gene Simmons. <laughs> They're coming back on tour or something, aren't they? Kiss. Because I don't know. I thought Gene Simmons was too busy sexually harassing women anyway. These days. Yeah, good point. Hasn't he like sexually harassed like two hundred women, is it? No. Didn't he I think he's like Ric Flair like Ric Flair says he slept with ten thousand women. I think Gene Simmons said he slept with like fifteen thousand or something. It's like okay Gene. You probably haven't. Let's be honest. It's KISS. <laughs> no one's listened to KISS in about twenty five years. <laughs> I don't know, the seventies were pretty radical. The seventies were also more than twenty five years ago. The seventies was almost half a century ago. Isn't that crazy? To think? Fucking hell! Yeah, we're all getting old. The Ford Mustang's gonna be fifty-five this year, I think. Ah, fuck the Ford Mustang. Poor thing. Gene but Simmons is sixty-eight years old. Holy shit! Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. He's famous because he has a tongue that was so large, people thought it was like... What was the rumor back in the day he had like a surgically attached cow's tongue or something? It's like, 
What the fuck? What? Yeah, apparently he had like a surgically... His tongue was like... He had a cow's one stapled to his actual tongue or something? I don't fucking know. It was stupid. Yeah. This was 1970s, everything was backwards. Every time I see a CRX now, it just reminds me of Juice, and I get sad. It just reminds Why me Street that? Tweaks is a thing. But dude, Street Tweaks is life, bruh. I hope you're excited for Juiced. I fucking am. Again. Again? There never was no before. I still think I should have released those like first episodes. Yeah, that... Just so I could show the introduction of the word wanker and what it actually means. It's amazing. Fucking, I mean, obviously I'm gonna call the crew that when we get to that game, so... Oh, yes. I am happy being a representative of yeah. the wankers. James Simmons claims he slept with 4,800 women. Women. Good for him. He probably didn't. If I... I could claim that as well. No, you couldn't, because you're gay. <laughs> Good claim though. Well, no, oh, he like said you slept with four four eight hundred twinks. I'd sort of maybe see him. Not that There's only so many people like LRC. As I slept with fucking four eight hundred twinkies. I think LRC is just an <laughs> everything sexual. Yes. Yeah, I agree with that. He probably yes. he's literally attracted to anything. Also, hello, Tom. Hello. Hello, Honda and Zegra. Session? Huh? Where? Recording session? Where? Oh, yeah. Um, I fucked up earlier. Uh, it's in Funk somewhere. It's buried oh, under where? Ludo shit. Someone give Torrent a link. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, I got it, I got it. What the fuck is all this? I've just seen loads of French shit. Yeah, Ludo was car Do shopping. Do you need early. to ask? And by car shopping, I mean, we said be reasonable, so he proceeded to go and like say, like, hey, I could buy 1.5 million pound Lamborghini. I was like, no, you can't. I could go buy an Indy car. Lancia Kappa. Lancia Kappa. To be fair, you probably could buy an old Indy car. Yeah. I could buy a NASCAR for like 25 grand or something. Yeah. There's like some random Ow. 2007 NASCAR that just so happened to end up uh, that was just ended up in this country. We all like pull our money together and just group fund a NASCAR. Don't say that. Yeah. Why Teresa not? Teresa actually wanted to do that. Well, if he Teresa wanted to won make a fucking race team in HG back in the day. Where we'd just buy an old fucking race car and use it. I think he said he wanted panos. I objected immediately. <laughs> I think it's the only car we can all agree on realistically is a Viper. Yeah, Viper would be good, but expensive. No, you'd be surprised, there's loads of race tuned Vipers everywhere. Remember the race tuned Viper? Remember the V10? No. It was like V10, yeah. but all the time. V10! America. It was like V10, but it was quick. This is America. Oh, oh remember, remember that spoof by Nicole Arbor? Yeah. yeah, exactly. That was stupid. That was not just stupid, it was complete hijacking, that's what it was. Well, it sort of succeeded in doing its job, I'm afraid. Pissing people off, yes. Yeah, she wanted attention, it gave her attention. Like, she always wants attention. This is a person that believes depression is a myth. I don't think she believes that. I think she's just trying to say it to get fucking controversy. That's literally yeah, it. Yeah, but it's not, it's not just her, though, saying it. It's Paul Joseph Watson saying it as who? well. Who? Exactly. Who? Listen, I didn't never know trust someone who's got yesterday. fucking... Listen. Never trust someone who's got first... Two, who's got two first names. I didn't hear of him until now. Apparently, he's massive. It's like people. It's like that fucking Jim Sterling person who he works with, that Laura Kate Dale. Never trust someone who's got fucking three first names as their actual name. <laughs> Dale. She was on. So, the you're, BBC so you're telling me I should trust Anita Sarkeesian? She was on BBC News defending Doki Doki Literature Club. Defending what? 
Uh, apparently the BBC tried to blame Doki Doki on someone hanging themselves at one point. Oh yeah, because that's rational. Doki Doki literally... Oh my god. And the fucking BBC interviewer got fucking owned. Yeah, the BBC interviewer got fucking wrecked. I'm not surprised, it's a fucking video game! Because she didn't understand the fact that there's no rating system for fucking online games. Wait. It's not a physical fucking copy, it's free. It doesn't get rated. That's the. Oh god. Desk wobbling a little bit. Desk wheel off. There we go. It's like that fucking Move. thing Jim Sterling did a thing on, that fucking Grand Theft Adelaide or whatever the fuck it was. Oh yeah, that! Grand Theft? What? Oh, uh. A Australian people. news source decided. There's this guy who basically created the city of Adelaide, Australia, in Unity, I think it was. Yeah, in Unity, he called the game Key Players. Yeah, and it was basically, Obviously. like, you could just walk around it, but I think there was, like, some GTA elements in it because of the way he had to build the game. Uh, and a new source basically picked up unfinished code of it and said, This is the a new, what did they say? This is a new game in the Grand Theft Auto franchise or something. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah? And basically they did this entire report damning the game and then they said at the end, oh yeah, the developer refused to comment. Here's the thing, the developer did comment and he said, my game's not related to Grand Theft Auto and they said, how do we know? And he said, contact Rockstar Games and they turned around and said, who's Rockstar Games? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! Fucking how do you be that? Yeah. How do you be, be that? Go in the head. Because when you're trying to create a Go hate speech, when you're trying to create a hate thing, you don't actually have to pay attention to anything. Yeah. Jur it's basic journalism, you don't have to know anything if you're calling talking yeah, shit. Yeah, it's like me bashing Pokemon as a fucking an animal cruelty simulator. Yeah, you don't, oh, you don't have God. to know anything if you're um, about it. I wouldn't be saying that if I were you. Yeah, I know, people have done it. Peter have done it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I love Peter, despite the fact they were like Why? aren't great. <laughs> in, who, in God's name, condemns a video game and anime series about fictional animals? Well they fight. Listen, Basically, how the fuck do you condone a game how the fuck do you get angry at a game which quite clearly says don't play this if you're emotionally disturbed and then like I was because, disturbed by it. It's just like, the that's the point! That. The public doesn't need to know that aspect. But remember, there's can exactly. be Exactly. There can be books and films and shit about this, but there can't be video games. Video games are bad. Well yes, of course. It's new media, you're not allowed to have no, it. It's Emil, not even Emil, new media anymore. It's, it's been around for fucking like almost half a century at this point. Here we go. Listen to this, right? A man named Glenn Beck. Glenn. May have may have heard oh. of him. Now, yeah. at one point, he said, Watch Dogs, I am not making this up, by the way, Watch Dogs teach kids to hack. He's kind of bad, let's be honest. He's not the sharpest tool. I mean... Oh. I'm just making sure well, I didn't... I played Forza on 809 exactly. That was brilliant. 809 exactly, ALML. Yeah. Because you're good. I've done no boy ring lap in 8.21. That's actually not a terrible time, I don't think. That's pretty good. Mm. Especially in a fun wheel drive. I want to redo that fucking fail race series. That one where he went round the Nürburgring and tried to beat, like, real times. I kind of want to do that. Yeah, that would be fun, but Nürburgring. Yeah, but it would like to achieve me to get better at Nürburgring. Exactly. Which I do kind of want to learn. I'd probably be quite useful. Yeah. Then maybe. again, I've got to race around in not the next episode, the episode after that. I've got to race around it for four hours, and then we've got to race around it for twenty-four hours at some point. So I'll probably oh. have one as well. Oh, the twenty-four hour one, you win that one. Yeah, I know. Hence why we're doing the Nurburgring twenty-four hour, and then immediately doing Formula GT afterwards. Yes. So um. As a you dipshit, oh, I'm streaming God. Burnout tomorrow. Good for you. <sighs> shit, it's Tuesday tomorrow. <gasps> it's National God, it's Tuesday. Na it's National. It's Tuesday today. Yes, it's National Wank to a weird fetish day. 
Really? Yes. I'm going to watch women finger themselves with carrots. I'm going to send you all the furry porn. No! <laughs> I will send you the weirdest head tie the world has Me ever seen. Fucking, no. We had to go through rule thirty. <laughs> we had to go through a rule thirty-four the other day. It wasn't fun. <laughs> we found out there is need for speed rule thirty-four. <laughs> it was. Just, like it wasn't even that good. Speed. It was just like the fucking loading screen to most one. It's just got a picture of Mia with her tits out. Right. Yeah. Which, uh, uh, under closer inspection, is the real image. Oh, good. I think, anyway, I haven't actually done any real inspection. I need to, though. Really? Really, though? She's a porn? She's in appeared in porn? I no, no, the, 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 neither one who shows their tits is a porn star. Rita Ora's done, and she has some fantastic breasts. But... I don't care. I thought I thought they hired their, those characters solely based on their acting experience. I mean, SRS hired literal po Every single SRS person you can find nude pictures of in on the internet. Literally yeah. every single one. Her name, her name is jo Josie Moran. Yes. My name's Josie... Josie Moran, and I play Mia in Need for Speed Most Wanted. Something... She, oh, oh, she's appeared in the America's next top fucking model. Yeah, there you go. What about that one from Carbon? Because she was a model as well. Emmanuel uh, Vosier, she was Canadian. Uh, let's have a look. Because Mia and Samantha obviously weren't actual people. They were just voice actors. You don't say. Yeah. I still can't believe, after all this time, I finally found out Need for Speed Most Wanted actually does have one of those um, drive safely adverts at the front of it, but it doesn't in the PS2 version. Oh yeah! yeah that's weird. Like here in Europe we just got a splash screen that says don't do this on the road, but apparently, and I only figured this out like a couple of days ago when I was watching someone recreate the intro to Underground 2 in GTA 5, apparently it has like this guy who comes out and he says like I'm ju I'm American drifting I think it's the drifting guy or something he's like I'm American something or other guy and I did some of the car work or something I don't fucking know. Yeah. and he was like I'm a professional so I could drive you can't wear a seatbelt ah uh, it's um what is it Nicky in yes Carbon Emmanuel Vosier good luck spelling that her name is... Emmanuel Vosier. Yes, Emmanuel Vosier. Again, I think she's French-Canadian. She's from British Columbia. No, she's Can she is Canadian. Canada! Her last, her last appearance was in Killer Ending. What? television series. Oh. She was also in Rogue, The Mentalist. Yeah. Last movie she was in that actually had any sort of significance was Teen Lust, which was a comedy horror film. Made in Canada. Hmm. Question. Yes. Why did Need for Speed 2015 have live-action cutscenes, but Payback decided to do fucking animated cutscenes that look like worse? I don't know. Why it's was like, Payback what... such a fucking disgrace to everyone? Because Payback. Was... I'm sorry. I don't care what anyone says. 2015's a better game. It is. I had more fun. Somehow. Playing 2015. Like, way more somehow fun. It is, somehow it is better than... Somehow it is better than Payback. Mm. Payback, for whatever fucking reason, had... Had... Slot machines for parts. And I just think... That's what, what is this? Yeah, That's apparently stupid. they've improved it. It's just like, I've got a way to improve it. How about you just fucking remove it? Or do what the crew did? Exactly. 
I mean, the cruise was bullshit, but the cruise made a little bit more sense because you could actually just go to the performance shop and buy the parts. So, it's fucking dumb. I hate payback. Yeah. Oh, the last game she was that Nikki or man of all she was in was Dying Light. Oh, fuck that game. I like Dying Light. Isn't Dying Light the one where it's like Dead Island made by competent people? It's made by the same people. Yeah, but they actually made it competently on like Dead Island. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Dead Island was alright, but... Yeah, but it had like loads of glitches and shit, didn't it? It was broken and to hell. And then Riptide was like the same game, but somehow more broken. Yes. They're currently working on Dying Light 2. I thought that had already come out. No, it's coming out. That's coming out. It's coming on, it's coming on, I'm happy. Well, it says, it says it's coming out in 2019, but who knows. I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. Anyways, overall, the Volvo's been a great car. Yay! And slightly overpowered for this event, but never mind. Again, I was going off what Inferno told me that mostly like E46s and stuff show up to this, but apparently the best car that showed up to this one's a Honda Integra. So the best one that showed up in Spirit was the Jazz. Yeah, the Jazz was in the first take, but unfortunately I was an idiot. And, and the Barchetta. Oh yeah, Let's and the Barchetta. The 206 has been in both races though, and that's the true MVP. Not forget the honoraries. Yes. Yeah, unfortunately I was an idiot and got suspension and stuff, which kind of... Don't get me wrong, I probably still could have won, but like, I actually wanted the car to be drivable <laughs> during this. Um... So, anyways, that's that. We are done. And the 206, unfortunately, gets another last place, but the 206 won at Motorland. Well, it didn't win at Motorland, but in spirit it won at Motorland. Be Hold on, let me just get through the outro a bit. Because th that was the last race, and it's time for a prize car. But first, well, I can't last in the last one. But first, money. So you get twenty grand for winning that race, and then overall we get two hundred thousand credits. Uh, it don't get me wrong, it's long, but it's a pretty easy two hundred thousand credits if you want two hundred thousand credits. So yeah. Anyways, I wonder what the prize car is. I'm expecting disappointment, but I'm quite happy to be surprised. I'm not expecting disappointment, I'm expecting someone to get after the fucking Ford fucking Oh, party. it's you! I think I can just buy you for like 70 grand, but still. Okay, that's disappointing. Eh, slightly. I don't know. To be fair, the race event isn't too difficult, so... Anyways, uh, we're doing like the win next episode, and then I'll explain the whole Formula GT situation afterwards. Yeah. 94.3% complete. Shit. We are closing in. What did I get? An Oprah? Yeah, an offer. Oprah before... Oh, yeah, we've already got the options. Steen Z. But, yeah. There's the Oprah. It's worth 31 grand. It no It's a nice looking... It's interesting. It's an S2000. There's nothing too spectacular. It's probably useful for a couple of events, though. If you want to use an S2000 that isn't really an S2000, then... There's your car. Anyways, join yeah, us next well. time for Like the Wind. Until then, farewell. Mm -hmm.